and the button has been pressed. Hey everyone, it is Fox from Model Making Guru. Welcome, 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 welcome to the second, second of maybe three or four, uh, Mopal Mac and 2019 Boom Hut Mopal Mac and Shot Kit uh, group build video stream things. My, what words? Words. Just, just gone. Hey everyone, I can't do this light because it's blinding me. Uh, if you remember from last week, we're doing the group build in the in the Model Makers Boom Hut on the Facebooks. If you don't know what that is, go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model boom hut. Uh, it's an awesome group. You hang out, and if you're in there, we're doing a group build to make terrible, terrible kits with limited tools. Uh, and we're gonna in a little bit we'll open this stream up to all and sundry so people who are watching can come and join in. For the minute, we'll just go through and see what everybody's doing. Uh, but as always, we'll go through the stream. I'll be the one that just sits here looking pretty, hosting. I'm not taking part in the build because I haven't got time, unfortunately. So I'm doing the hosting bit, uh, and everybody else is doing the, the building bit. And it's basically a chance for me to just do Schadenfreude, to get all the Schadenfreude with you guys making terrible kits. So welcome, welcome. Uh, Ted's just popping in and out. He will be there shortly. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you're watching this anywhere that you can't see the live chat, then hit the little YouTube icon down here somewhere, or down there, or whatever side it's on. Uh, and that will take you straight to the YouTube page where we have the live chat where you can join in. I will be posting in the Boom Hut very shortly a link for you to actually join the physical hangout and be one of the people in the stream. Uh, so I'll be doing that in the Boom Hut shortly. So obviously you need to be a Boom Hut member. Uh, but without further ado, I shall quickly go and have a look and see who we've got in at the moment. Uh, we have the Boom Hut team. We have, in no particular order, uh we have chris from gross models hello chris from gross models oh hello. Hi, hi. sorry to interrupt you i just introduced you oh. <laughs> uh, this evening i want the people in chat to tell me if the camera's switching between people or if it's sticking on me when i'm talking <coughs> minute when i've stopped talking to these guys let me know i'm looking it on them now i need you to tell me so I'll, t I'll tell you when to start checking anyway hey chris how you doing hello and I'm here. I'm here still. Yes. Uh, I did just notice a, a comment that quite tickled me. Zadster says, evening rubbish kit makers. Take that how you will. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Exactly how it's meant. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I know how I'm in there. Um, hello, I'm, I'm I'm Chris from Gross Models. Look, advertising. Oh, you've got a sticker in there and everything. Oh, yeah, but man. now I'm going to cover it up. So you, you'll have to remember who I am. Darn it. Um, I, I've, I've done mine. There you go. Finished. Brilliant. Thanks for coming by. So I'll, I'll just sit back and watch it. No, I'm, I've got another one. Dad says I, it's I did... locked on Chris. I know because I've locked yeah. on Chris. Dad. <laughs> I, I did that one. So now I'm going to start that one. And I have a second uh, shot kit, which is another Star Wars one, another Rebel thingy, but a TIE, tie Fighter thing. Um, I like this one because if you watched last week, I was I was missing in the orange to paint the pilots. It didn't have any orange in it. This one's got luminous red. So I might have a little go back to finish that one off with some red instead of orange it's orangish because uh, i don't remember there being a great deal of red in tie fighters I, I, I think it's the little gun bits maybe and the engine maybe but we'll see i'll get it ripped open in a minute and see but i'm back to the same three tools that i used last time quite successfully i think on, what, so are I'm, I'm, what are your three tools my, my three tools are the metal filey thing on my swiss army knife the scissors on my swiss army knife and the little tweezers from my swiss army knife so I, I have those prepared. Um, this is the kit. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I'm going to carry on with that and see if I can get this one done as well in, in a week because I did the other one last week and I've got another kit set aside for next week. You'll get this done by the end of the show. You just whiz through and fast. Yeah. For those that don't know, by the way, just to remind you all, uh, the whole point of this build is that you have to have a starter kit. Cause some people are only just joining us tonight for the first time because we didn't have their kits yet. Um, the whole point of this build is to do a starter kit, which is a kit that comes with uh, paints, some crappy paints, uh, a crappy tube of glue, or like you saw on Chris's there, with our contact thing, and a terrible, terrible brush. Uh, and you have to use whatever comes with the kit, and those are your only model making tools that you're allowed. Whatever comes with the kit, you're allowed what comes with the kit, which is paint, brushes, and some glue. You are allowed five household items: some kitchen roll, a bowl 
a cup, infinite water, infinite kitchen roll, by the way, uh, and a pair of scissors. So five household items and three three household oh, items. Well, three other items of your choice oh, right. have to be household items. Mm. So you can have five default household items: bowl, cup, water, kitchen roll, scissors, and then three other items of your choice. And not only making tools, they have to be something you would find around the house because this is us going back to being a little kid and making models with whatever we could steal from mum's sewing box or the kitchen. Uh, um, so, I have a quick question though. Um, Dad said that's cheating, Chris. What? 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 Why am I cheating? I don't, I don't think I'm cheating? cheating. No, he said he was going to do another kit because he finished his kit last week. So yeah, it's, 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 mm -hmm. if if you think I'm cheating, let me know how. Because just tell him he's like cheating to... anyway. You'd have to justify it. I, I do. I like to justify myself. I, I don't cheating. want people to think I'm cheating. Oh, yeah. bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it was quite big. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have uh, TK from TK's Model is uh, with us again this week, and he's carrying on with his futuristic, as in it's already been retired, space plan. So. <laughs> yeah. It still sucks. Yeah. <laughs> have you got a kit that didn't suck? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> you do choose them, don't you? Yeah, I like a challenge. I don't know. So, if you, do you want to recap with people, if anybody didn't watch last week, how far you got? Uh, well, I got the basic shape fitted together, so the fuselage, the wings are on, I just glued the tail on. And now I need to crack on with painting a lot of things white on black plastic without primer, so... <laughs> That is going to be fun. Yeah, you spent a lot of your time last week just painting white in many, many layers, didn't you? Yeah. It, it looks all right on camera, but it really didn't work out that well. In real life, is it just torture and sadness? Yeah, I, I think I'm going to just use my um, nail file for sending my glasses in a, a very not-so-opaque manner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like I said at the start, the whole point is that I get to watch everybody else suffer, which is why I love this group, though, because uh, I'm not taking part. So thank you for supplying me so much schadenfreude. <laughs> and I am actually being accused of cheating. Yes, I saw that. Dad has clarified that Chris is cheating by using one paint from one kit with another kit, and that is true, actually. It is, but I've finished that kit. Yeah. So that, it's finished now and done, but I can come back to it later and do other things with it. That's true. I? Yeah, so if you're not careful, so, that's you part know. of your group build kit. Then yes, you can, you can, you can, but you have to declare this is not part of the group build. Well, neither of them are really. They, they, you know. Well, that one is. It is. It is at the moment, and it will be later because it's it's not exactly orange paint, is it? It's yeah. that's quite. <laughs> no, but the taffeta is part of the uh, the group build. Jamie Bone backs me up. He says Chris doesn't cheat. Someone else does. I don't know who else it will be. <laughs> that's Paul, and he's not here tonight. Uh, next up, we have our very good friend Ted Skipper Ted from Skipper Scale Models. Hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. Hello, hi everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on to about week three of uh, building this 172nd scale uh, measure smith. Uh, hang on, which one is it? I think so. I think I've seen in the boom hut some of you have already got this kit. Uh, it's going together not too bad. Uh, I might get it, well, sort of finished tonight. Well, I've got so I've got an idea for the masking that I might want to try later on. So when I get to that, I'll uh, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, Just so, remind everybody, Ted, what your three what your three. Oh uh, yeah, I forget about that. Yeah, I've got the craft knife. In, craft knife in, in in inverted commas. Is craft knife. Uh, I think they, I think they actually refer to them as carpet knives, don't they? Yeah, well, uh, this, that's that's Nick from Dad's garage. If people are. Yeah. Uh, uh, a, a nail file. Nick from Mum's makeup box. Craig, Nick from Mum's makeup box. And a set of tweezers. Yep. Uh, nicked from the first aid kit. Yep, there you go. For, for, awesome. for the pulling out of splinters. I forgot, I forgot to ask TK what his three tools were. TK, what were your? Um, yeah. um, a knife. Yep. Uh, a somewhere here. No file. What else did I? Oh, yeah, tape. Ah, masking tape. Ah. Yes, awesome. Well, that's going to be interesting if you've got a masking plan, Ted, because you've not mentioned anything there that could work as masking fluid. I mean, uh, 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 yeah, uh, kitchen roll. Ah, I like <laughs> the cut of your jib. We shall see how well or not well that goes. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it was just a thought. It was a thought of it might work or it might 
just be a total failure. But with this kit and this paint, anything, anything can happen in the next half hour. Well, you know what, Ted? If it works, it'll be brilliant. But if it doesn't work, it'll be brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> the kitchen yeah. roll's not really known for its um uh, properties, is it? Quality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I may have a secret. It may or may not work. As I say, I haven't tried it. Uh, I, I, I purposely haven't tried it in the name of uh, good uh, being sporting and trying it live on camera. This is where he tells us that what we don't know is that chicken spit makes a fantastic masking fluid if you collect it up. Yeah, but yeah. Didn't, the chicken wasn't part one of his three things. No, but it's the technique. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true. Model making chicken. Yeah, uh, but... right, I shall quickly go through the chat and see who we got in. And before I post the link in the boom hut, uh, we have in chat. It only goes up so far for me. I know Pascal the Aversion only came in like about two days ago. So as always, Pascal was first. He's a bit late. Uh, we have Dad is in, Mike Mountain, one of your mods tonight. Uh, Chris is obviously a mod. Don't know what's in the chat. He's, in the, he's on the telly. Uh, Pascal the Aversion is in. Welcome, Pascal. We have Paul Di Tommaso, who was one of the early birds as well. Uh, we have Pascal says he's this tonight. He's working on a Hella kit. Le Superbe. Although I think it may be more like, if it's a terrible kit, it'll be Le Merde, not Le Superbe. Uh, that's not a very good joke. <laughs> Was it a joke? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll, sorry. Uh, Nick Butler's in, and he, have, if you remember from last week, Nick was working on his spam plane and painting it with just a jar of spam, basically. Uh, he says, might be getting to the decals tonight. Uh, who else do we have in? Ba, ba, ba. Phil East is in. Evening all, says Phil. Uh, Tomachi is in. Hello, Helka Tomachi and uh, Phil. Zadster is in. Evening Rub. <laughs> wow, hello. Words. It's gone badly already. Uh, Zadster is in. He says, evening rubbish kit makers. Brackets, take that how you will. Uh, Stuart Bremner is in. Uh, welcome, Stuart. Uh, Lord Barkley III is, is in as well. And Jamie Bone, as we know, because Chris mentioned him, is in. Welcome to the two of you. Uh, Treadhead1945, who are you again? All of us. We're all, all the people. <laughs> uh, actually, we don't know who you're referring to there, Treadhead1945. Is that to anyone specific? You kind of have to ask because there's any more answer that. Uh, who else have we got in? We have uh, Faisal is in. Faisal Shastari. Hi all. Welcome, Faisal. Uh, Vincent at Mr. Lowe's Model Making is in. Evening, everyone. Is Vincent John is taking part? I can't remember. I don't remember seeing him do anything last week, but... Well, no, he just covered up with, his... Yeah. He just up with his, tra his tank kits with a thousand track parts and things. Don't know. Uh, si Reynolds is in. Welcome, Si. Uh, who else? Uh, Matt Bradford, hi all. Just finished putting decals on the eagle. Cool. Uh, Dave Barker's in. Wow, wow. Hang on a moment, Fox. And is Schadenfreude? New mode last week, last week, next week. We should have Karma and Fox should build the top kit. Find terrible. There's no space in my schedule, I'm afraid. Uh, Colin at Festive 67 Workshop is in as well. Uh, one of your mods for this evening. Uh, and that's where I'm up to in the chat so far. So welcome to all of you. Now, like we said before, and I will shut up in a minute and let these guys carry on. Uh, this is a stream where you can join in the stream. Boomhop members are welcome to join the actual stream. And what we're going to do in a moment is copy the link to this hangout into the Boomhop so you can come and join the stream. We just have a couple of, well, small number of requirements. But if you want to join the stream, please make sure you're doing a, a group build kit, terrible uh, starter kit. Because that's the whole point. We want to know how you're getting on, what you're doing, and see how it's coming on. I'm going to look at it on me because your sanding is very noisy. I, I was just thinking, is that very annoying? But... <laughs> that's something I realise. It's like, <laughs> me, is it? Um, yeah, so, uh, so obviously you need to be doing a, a group build kit because you want to know how it's coming on. We ask that you have, you don't have to have a decent camera, just have a camera, which will be handy, uh, and a microphone. Uh, but have a decent broadband. What, we, what we'll do is we don't know how many people will want to join the stream. And we can only have nine people in total in the, in, the, in the hangout. So we'll kind of rotate through you. If it looks like there's people trying to get, if, we get, if we're constantly at nine all the time, what we'll do is we'll give you like five, 10, 15 minutes each, and then we'll sort of pop you out and give someone else a chance to come in. So if, if you want to join in and you can't, and it's not working, it says it's full, just keep the link open to one side. And when somebody drops out, see if you can get in. It'll be first come, first served. Uh, if we don't get millions of people trying to join, then you might be on here for an hour. Who knows? Uh, I will post a link in the Boomput in a moment. We just ask that, first of all, like I say, you have a decent broadband connection. If we can't tell what you're saying, if you're doing this, it, oh, I, it, if that's all we get from you, 
we'd have to reluctantly kick you out. Really just to give you a chance to reboot your system and start again and try and come back in when you've got your connection sorted. But obviously the point is to join in and have a laugh. And if we can't tell what you're saying, we'd have to give somebody else a chance. So apologies if we end up throwing you out the airlock. We just might have to. Uh, and also, it's uh, a, in terms of the chat and the stream, you, in the stream itself, please don't swear because it's monetized. Uh, if you want to swear and use and use grown-up language in the chat, you're more than welcome. Just in case anyone's confused, there has been some confusion. This is nothing to do with e-models. No, neither is my stream on a Sunday. It's nothing to do with e-models. You don't have to be nice in the chat. You can you can say rude words, be a little bit more grown because this is my stream. This is so. Yes, if you want to use big words and scary words in chat, do feel free. Just don't use them on the stream because it's monetized. And every time you swear, I get a thing saying it's not friendly for advertisers. So, yeah, please behave. And remember, we're all admins and moderators. <coughs> don't be a tool in the stream. If you're going to be a tool, we'll kick you out the stream. We'll kick you out the boom box. So be nice. This is just silly fun. So I shall now take it off me from being locked on me. I'll shut the hell up. Nearly said something else then. And I'll go and post the link into the boom hook. Yeah, in a moment, when I can find it, where is it? Posting now, <clears throat> and the link is posted. Quick, who's going to be first in? Who's going to be first in? Yeah, right. Virus Trooper. Oh no, it's not posted yet. <clears throat> I pressed the button, but nothing happened. <laughs> Hang on, it's there we go. I've also set it as an announcement, <clears throat> excuse me, an announcement at the top of the screen. So it's there permanently. So if you want to join the stream, come and dive in. Yeah. I will say as well in advance, if you join in and it says Dave on the on your little window at the bottom, then I'll I'll know to call you Dave. If you've got like Sniper XX2575, I'm gonna call you that because I am awful with names i can't remember names i have i've got old my memory so if you're if you're if your like, name on the little screen is you know my little pony 35 i'm going to call you my little pony 35 all night he's only just started getting me and ted right i know <laughs> uh a wild pascal has joined us first in as always <laughs> hey pascal hello hello how are you doing, hmm? how are you doing my friend i'm fine you I'm all right. I'm right. What is your? We're not getting. A, are we getting a picture from him? Is it just me again? I, it's I just you see. again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to refresh because I every time someone's join, I get no pictures. Let me refresh. <laughs> if I, if yeah. I don't come back, yeah. um, Ted, you're in charge. So remember, everybody, when Fox leaves, fill the spaces so we can't get back in. <laughs> uh, hi, Pascal. Why there we go. To? That's better. Hello. Yes. Apollo. For some reason, whenever anybody joins the stream, I can't see their. their their visual feed after reboot the risk of course is that i reboot and like six of the people come in and i'm lost so welcome pascal hello uh what are you working on this evening i've forgotten what you're working on now for your table <laughs> this this superb the, the oh, that's right. oh i thought it was a car it's the cheapest kit i could not find in the store that's right what I've done, I've locked the camera on you. So there you go. You've got 45 minutes now to fill. Off you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll, we'll just we'll just build and paint. It's all, uh, this, tonight's presenter is Pascal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Price you get for being the first, you see. Uh, so uh, have you just started on it tonight, or? Yeah, yeah. I've already had a hard time with the paint. I just got <laughs> yeah. uh, the wrong paint. Tell, tell instead me of, in, instead of wood this. color, I got a uh, shiny gold. Color with, uh, yeah. Uh, can you see that? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. It's filled with glitter, so <laughs> <laughs> it's glitter paint. Yeah, well, old, old sail ships are well known for being covered in glitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's, because, it's historically accurate. Because didn't you, didn't you know, in the days of old, like, tall ships, it was the disco era and everything was fabulous. Yeah. Uh, they all, all, were, all were spandex. and Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They all had really ropey Zapata moustaches, because of course they did. Yeah. Uh, was was Abra a thing then in the uh, what, uh, Abra's always been a thing. Yeah, yeah. Abra been around since before then, yeah. Uh if oh by the way, if people see me looking down like this, I've got conversations going on in other places in back in the background of this stream, like with other people. So I'm not being rude. Yes, you are. There's things being organized in the background and stuff, so and like telling people how to get in the stream and stuff, things like that. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, th things are a bit hectic here at the moment. We're just putting uh, Skylar to bed and things like that. So, uh, Good night, Skylar. Good night, Skylar. <laughs> uh, the microphone may go on and off as she gets uh, <laughs> shouted at to get to bed. Yeah. If you, Ted, if you need to mute it, just so the viewers, because I think they can see. If you need to mute it, use the thing in the Hangout, because then the viewers oh, can see you muted yeah. then. And yeah, we don't sit there going, Ted, 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 Ted. <laughs> Because <laughs> if well, we we'll, we'll still me, do that, but because if we don't know, we don't hear from you ten minutes. Somebody's yeah, gonna yeah it's it's yeah. all right. I'll I'll, do, I'll probably just sit here for me chatting away and then yeah. forget to turn the microphone back on. Yeah, at least if you've got a symbol in front of you, you, you can't go wrong. I'm doing my kit in a different way this week. I've, I've broken all the bits off the sprue and I'm filing them all down first. Ooh. And then I'm going to see about the painting and colouring and putting them together. Because I think that was probably easier. Yeah. I have to update the audience, by the way, and say this evening, I'm afraid I do not have beer. <laughs> my, uh, one, my one pleasure last week, apart from the pleasure I got from everybody else suffering, the one pleasure I had with my beer I haven't got. Because I forgot to get some beers in. And if I order now on Amazon, it's going to be like midnight, so there's no point. Uh, let's see what chat is doing. Uh, people are asking where Cy Reynolds has been. Uh, he says he's been busy at work. Uh, he's good. He's just sat down with the Master Grade TR1 Hazel Gundam. Ooh, that's Bandai or not Bandai? That's, that's a, not a starter kit. No, he's not, it's not, it's not doing the group build. That's not a Bandai, though, is it? That's the Drive the uh, uh, Momoko. Or is it a Bandai? I didn't know there was a Master Grade Hazel. Determined to get some modelling done, he says. Dad says his mojo's gone. Dad, why's your mojo gone? Build some Warhammers. Go and look at the Warhammers on the website. Then. <laughs> go, go, go and buy some Warhammers. Yeah, that's yeah. That always gets your mojo back. <clears throat> uh, Teddy's going to try and mask with paper towels. Lol, says Paul Di Tommaso. <laughs> Ted, you're right to reply. What? Who? What? What? Who? What? Paul Di, yep, Tommaso well replied. Says, Paul Di Tommaso says, Ted is going to try and mask with paper towels, lol. Yeah, I am. I have an idea. Uh, we, we will see what happens, shall we? Consider it as, a, as an experiment. <laughs> People don't know this, but I did I uploaded a video the other day to YouTube, which hasn't gone live yet for non-patrons. But if you're in the UK and you remember 1980s children's TV, you'll get it straight away. Or well, schools, colleges, programs, you'll get it. It should be up in the next few days. Uh, I'll be actually chatting in chat in a minute. Uh, Captain Nemo's actually got a good question there. He says, it'd be good if you don't do the same kits with your own painting and building styles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think my building style for this type of kit is... Take, take one box, pour the glue in, shake well, box, shake well, and see what comes out. That's like a military ration. Heat it, open the bag, eat. <laughs> yeah. Instructions: eat. Yes, I think the thing to point the thing to point out there is it would be good if you're all making the same kit, but that suggests some kind of skill in organisation and planning. We yeah, that is the skills. downside. No, we don't. Yeah. And then somebody would cheat because, yeah. You know, I would not. I mean, they would not. Uh, oh, 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 there's a guilty mind. He straight jumped straight into it. I would <laughs> yeah. not. I deny all the things. How did, how did you know I was talking about you? Because he said six episodes doesn't matter. Uh, Five-star Shastari says he just got back from his hobby store and bought two kits. One is the UNCF AAA Class DX-1-1000 from Space Battleship Yamato. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, he says uh, Yam uh, Space Battleship Yamato 2202. Ah, that's the the second the sequel series that I've not seen yet. Uh, and the other one is Bulim, uh, Bulma's motorcycle number nineteen from Dragon Ball, both off from Bandai. I've got to be honest, I can't stand Dragon Ball. I don't know why. You know, and there's only one reason I've never watched it. There's only one reason I don't like Dragon Ball. It's the eyes, and the way he draws the faces, the eyes and the mouths. I can't. It just makes me angry. I look at a Dragon Ball character and I want to punch something, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I, just, I go, oh, and then I have to walk away. I can't watch it. Uh, what else have we got? Red Len is in evening all. 
Uh, Sam Reynolds says, just saying, Ted, you have some scissors and an instruction manual. The paper in that would be less porous than kitchen roll and thus better at masking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Don't we'll give see. him hints. I want to see him use kitchen roll. We'll, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Because that's more like fretwork. Yeah, yeah, the thing is, when, when I sort of visualised doing it in my mind, I imagined that the canopy was huge. It's It's not. Yeah, he also he also imagined it with a lot less like you know ladies in bikinis, tropical yeah. cocktail drinks, and lots of sunshine, and yeah. maybe a beach or two. But sadly, what we see in our mind. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Oh, hang on, we're looking at Pascal's desk now. He shifted his camera down. Let's have a yeah. let's look at him for a minute and see what he's doing. You're painting. Unfortunately, on my screen, you're painting right behind all the little boxes. Let me move it around. There we go. So you're working on your sails, aren't you? No, it's yeah. the, little, the little preview thumbnails that write in the way of your work. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks okay. <gasps> oh, don't spill it. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I saw that. Oh. What happened? What did I miss? Who's, uh, who got hurt? No, we nearly had, Oh, he's got... I, hang on. <laughs> hang on. The, oh, Paul's not here and he's using his, he's using his cutting mat as a... <laughs> yeah. Look, oh, Paul's not here to he's revel in that. He'll, we'll tell him. Um, I'm, I'm going to start painting, and I've already come across yeah. a problem because it says to use paints A, B, and C, and E, and and none of them are that colour. <laughs> Hang on, you've got four paints. Now I've got paint. three paints, and it's told me to use four already on one bit that isn't that colour. Uh, it's tar black, glass gloss black, uh, light grey matte, and iron metallic. Right. I think they've forgotten to put in the iron metallic. And and there's only tar black. Do I need at this point? Do I need to say, oh, Ravel? No, it's it's a suggested. <laughs> what does it say? It says uh, required colours. So we'll we'll give you three of them. Yeah, the and, rest. And right, we'll yeah. mention another three that we, you know, yeah. I'd lo also love the fact that they colour the plastic in such a way that it's not anywhere near the right colour for any of it. Uh, it's sort of greyish, maybe, but um, obviously the pilot is meant to be. Uh, matte black for bits of it and shiny black for other bits it's all just going to be black yeah yeah well, well the, the colors in this airfix kit uh they only give you two colors for the pilot it's green and black unfortunately the cockpit's green the same green that the pilot is so it just all blends into one so yeah um, uh, it's like what color what color have you got for the pilot green and black what about you know his face yeah yeah it's gonna yeah. be green yeah. uh, eddie maps is in eddie maps says hey paul not joining in the bill but watching with interest don't watch with interest watch with just laughing at people's suffering is the best way to do it uh, um pascal almost knocking his paint over uh, uh right i've got another problem i yeah. just decided to glue these bits together i'm going to put the lid back on that paint so I, I used one of these glues on the last kit and it was quite good you, you pull the lid off there and then you've got this big long metal needle that lets you get the paint exactly where you need it <laughs> it's inside the lid <laughs> um okay i'm going to use my pair of scissors that i'm allowed to use because they're part of my three tools <laughs> at a pinch you might be allowed to swap out for the other one no, no, I'm not going to break the rule. I don't want to be accused of cheating. No. I was going to say, you've got to make the boink noise when you pull it out, but you didn't. I don't make the point noise. You, you do that. Boink. Thank you. So, and, and it's, you've got glue coming out of it. So, yeah, I've, I've cured that problem. There we go. Sorted. Awesome. Uh, Lord Barkley the Third says, can you not mix paints? Yes, they can. They can mix. Chris did last week. They can mix I did. paints if you want to. Yeah. And I don't know what to mix. To, I've got tar black light gray and luminous red i don't think i can mix any two of the three of them together to make different colors black that really is like like council workman high-vis jacket red isn't it it really is it's luminous red apparently oh, mm. i shall shake it and open it for you uh sprue glue addict says uh question is fox not built i love the way people put the little fox symbol in the chat when they mention me oh god look at that that's not oh. red. Pink. Oh. Oh. that's 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 so baby color. pink uh, Sprugley says, is Fox not building anything or has he been disqualified already for cheating? <laughs> oh, I don't I don't cheat. I just interpret the rules in a special way unique to me. Um, no, I'm not building because I haven't got time. I don't know this haven't got time thing. That doesn't fit. Yeah. Got time to... Because I'm only building while I'm here and you, you're you still here. I haven't got time because You've I've got, got to be pretty exactly the, the same amount of time. 
It's it's because somebody has to herd all the cats of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Stream, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm only in it for the shout and fright. I'm, I've been honest from the start. Uh, don't forget, of course, uh, Pascal has joined us and he's currently not spilling paint, but working on his sales. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five of us in. That means there's four slots free. If you want to join the stream, the link has been posted up in the boom hut. It's an announcement at the top of the page. Um, all you need, oh, and here comes Tom. All you need is a webcam and a camera, uh, no, a webcam and a microphone or a webcam with a microphone and a fairly decent broadband connection and you can join us. Uh, on, uh, at the moment, if there's just like less of nine of us, we'll just keep whoever we've got in. As soon as we hit nine people, we'll filter people out after five or ten minutes to let other people come in. I'm going to reboot again because I can't see Tom's picture. But hello, Tom. I can't see my picture either. Hello. Right. Oh, hey, hello. hello. Uh, nobody can see Tom's picture, so it's not you this time, folks. Nope, no, that's me. He, he's gone and he won't know that. <laughs> and I said, I'll refresh and press the button just as somebody said, nobody can see the picture. No, nobody can see the picture. It wasn't you. Uh, it, well, he's, he's, he's my, don't worry, we can hear you. Okay. You have, to, you have to you have to communicate with us. I was about to say using interpretive dance, but even that won't work. No, uh, not for the no screen. You, you can't do your mind gig a uh, gag. That's not going to work. You can't do the trapped in a glass box thing. You'll have to use song. <laughs> yeah. Or well, slightly adult lyrics. No, actually, not adult lyrics. He's gone. <laughs> oh. I was going to say slightly did, adult lyrics, but not in not in the stream. Did you scare him off? I did. I think he may be <clears> adjusting something. Yeah, so if you would like to join us, the link is up in the Boom Hut. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model Boom Hut. I shall uh, yeah. get the Boom Hut. Uh, what I forgot to do last week was has the Boom Hut up so I can let people, I can approve members when they try and join while we're live on the telly. So let me go and do that now. Get that open. Uh, I've done one colour and my brush is falling apart and horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what, already? Yeah, the first... Oh, yeah. You can you can go back to the other one if you need to. But the other the other horrible brush that only just yeah. survived last week. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I think you're not allowed to you're not allowed to use paints, but you can swap the brushes and glue out if you need to. Because we've already had some people who got the glue in their kit and the glue was solid and they couldn't use it, so we've we've allowed them to use it. I have still got last week's brush, so if need be I can go back to that. Right. Are you with us, Tom? Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you. We can't see you no. though. What the hell's going on with my camera? Uh, what you need to do? There you go. Go to, the cog wheel. go to the cog wheel at the top of the of the screen. Gotcha. Settings, and then choose the relevant camera from that. Yeah, it's there. Save. Uh, that you know they said tar black. It it wasn't kidding. It is actually thick and gloopy like tar. <laughs> Uh, Tom, if you can still hear us, what you might want to do is perhaps connect your camera to your PC and then shut down and restart. I have to do that sometimes. It doesn't register the camera unless the computer is turned on <coughs> with the camera plugged in. So give that a try. But anyway, yes. Anyway, as I was saying half an hour ago, feel free to join us. We've got nine slots. We've not got nine people in. Feel free to come and join us. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. <sighs> the mistake was you didn't put butter on the toast that was your problem and you put too much on Tom. oh well, i buttered it i oh, definitely get real butter are you going to try again tonight on telly for everybody who didn't see it in the room <laughs> oh you must have <laughs> you, you still got that open pot haven't you you might have sent off at least one of the others but no i've got two i got whoa look at it i'm blowing stuff up hold on explode here we go for those that don't know Tom actually received his Marmite this week, and in the Boom Hut posted up a video with him trying Marmite for the first time. And apparently, his dog liked it. Kind of. She had to smell at it for a minute or two, and she was like, mm, "I don't know about this, Daddy." And then she she took it, and yeah, but you know why? Because she sat there and she went, "I don't like the smell of it, but I'm a dog." <laughs> to wait and not. see if it was dead or not. Yeah, I don't like the smell, but I'm a dog, and I shouldn't really care. So I'm oh, numb. Probably more like, well, I just told Daddy put it in his mouth, so I'm going to taste it now. <laughs> yeah, that's worse. Blah blah blah. <laughs> uh, uh, Dave Warhammer, uh, Dave Warhammer, <laughs> Dave, Warhammer. <laughs> Dave Warhammer Barker uh, says, "I can't comment on painting Warhammer. Proper Warhammer, Age of Sigmar. No, that's not proper. This is proper Warhammer. Yours is lardy dar girly swords and sorcery Warhammer nonsense." <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, uh, Tom picked uh, po wow. Tom posted up a video of him trying Marmite for the first time. 
you kind of really slathered it on the toast there a bit, dude. Well, I tried to thin it out, but it, the stuff is like axle grease. You need a little it, tiny bit on the knife. No, he, he had about the right amount. That's how I have my yeah, toast. Uh, yeah, yeah, axle grease. Yeah, we can use it as that as well. Yeah, that was fine. Actually, I, it, I, I, it got me thinking about Marmite for the last few days, so I had time. I, I made some peanut butter and jam sandwiches today. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to make a Marmite sandwich as well. So I got the jar, and there's the tiniest bit of Marmite left in the jar, so I managed to spread it across the piece of bread. And it was really nice. I was like, yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, no, my... Here's my uh, bowl of broken parts from the Mopal Make. Hooray! Yeah, I haven't figured out how. Oh, there's a fair amount there too. And here's the one part I've got left. You broke them, bits, <laughs> have you? They all fell yeah. apart when he used his like, <sighs> garden shears to get them off the sprue. Yeah, yeah, I gave that up, and I started using the good old fashioned bottle cap and knife so that I could get in. Because you know how some of the sprues have the uh, nubs and then part. Yeah. So it, that's where. That was how I broke a few of the parts. I gave up on the scissors, so I'm done with the scissors. So now I laid the sprue down on the mat, and there's no gates. I finally figured out what the term I was looking for. Hmm. There's no gates. It's just like sprue part. <laughs> there's no gates of any kind. It's just like, here's about where the part ends, but about here. So Quality time. Oh, yeah. And then when I uh, would put the sprue on the mat... I've already thrown most of them away. Well, that still leaves, you know, a, a good two, three millimeters to the map. Well, that's plenty of time for all kinds of part shenanigans, and they tend to break. And that's why I got, oh, the joystick for the thing. <laughs> the control yoke, I guess. Yeah. So you've had, lots of part, you've had lots of fun. Yeah, half of that one isn't in the box. Can you not just like uh, find a bit of rice or something that's been left over somewhere and glue that on and say it's a part? Find something lying around the house. <laughs> you can you can use the the box that it came in to use scratch building materials. There we yeah, go. You can allow that technically. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be about. Yeah, I guess I could just cut it out and paint it. It's about <laughs> thick. Um. What? Yeah, this paint yeah. isn't working on these plastic. It, it's um, <laughs> hooray! It really isn't. This is correct. See, what I'm surprised is that nobody tweaked the idea that you could just get the model and paint everything on the sprue and then call that done. <laughs> well, if I would have done that, I would have wasted paint because I've got parts flying all over the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's not that's people. not a kit build though, is it? That's just a kit paint. Well, <laughs> it's, it's still painting. It's a piece of art, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look at chat. We have um, where are we? Uh, Rat Pack Thirty says I could join, but I don't have such a kit to build. Dead broke. Sorry to hear that, dude. Uh, Ray Aquilina is in from Malta. Hey, Ray. Hello, Chris, my friend. Hello, Fox, my friend. Yeah, hello, Ray. Doesn't care about Dad or TK. No, uh, obviously. <laughs> I mean, the Ted or TK. But he likes us too, so we're we're cool. Yeah, that's right. Oh no, he says hi to Dad as well, not to Ted. Oh, I feel <laughs> right, that's it. I'm going. <laughs> we may do it. I've not read that bit yet. Uh, let's have a look. Faisal Shastari says, "Is that the Tie Fighter from Bandai?" No, it's a, it's a starter kit. It's Revel. <laughs> it's a shot kit. <laughs> We're not talking quality kits in this group build. Yeah, it is quality. It's quality. Um, it's it's not the type of quality that people normally talk about. Hmm. But there is a level of quality to it. There is a quality. It's just not necessarily yeah. good. Or, yeah. It's not, not a high quality. Yeah. Donald McKenzie says that the uh, council workers' high-vis jacket pink is for the twin ion engines. It probably. I haven't got that far yet. It, yeah. it doesn't mention. I've got to use it a little bit. Here, like, uh, there's, there's a couple of bits, little lights on the inside of the thing that apparently I've got to do. Lights it might stick to them. You never know. When you said lights on the inside of the thing, I could just heard the, the, the sound of a... a, a a million Star Wars fans curling up and dying. <laughs> a million voices called out in pain and agony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Di Tomasa says he doesn't have a webcam at work, so he can't join us. Um, Wait a minute, he hasn't got a webcam at work. But no. Has he, he, has he got work, a kit at work then? He doesn't work in one of those places where they make those videos. Yeah, but he's got a kit at work. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's not like a cam girl. He might be a cam girl. Paul, are you a cam girl? Is that what it is? And you're just denying it. Well, I was more concerned that he might not have a camera at work. That's fine. But does that mean that he has got one of these starter kits at work? <laughs> I think he said he was doing it at work. I'm sure he did. <laughs> um, are we sure TK has not put Marmite over his camera, says Nick Butler? <laughs> hey. mm, TK is grafting away there. Yay, the Marmite worked, says Dad. Try a Marmite drink. It moved. Hang on. Uh, Philly says, try a Marmite drink. One teaspoon in boiled water. Scale model Muse. Welcome, Muse. Uh, it says, most dogs will eat anything. That's true. Ooh. While I remember, seeing that Muse is in the chat, while I remember, uh, I have all the UK uh, followers that won sticker that were, have won stickers on my Sunday Warhammer stream. Those have been posted out over the last couple of days. I've not yet posted out the international ones, the ones outside the UK, because I've got to take them to post office. My car's screwed and off the road. I have to. I've, I've got to go to the post office, but um, I'm still waiting. For names and addresses for some people so some of these i will have your details but i can't remember which ones they are specifically so i'll just read everybody out uh if you haven't emailed me with your details you need to mail me fox at modelmakingguru.com the <laughs> name and address so i know where to send the sticker if you've got a double indie paintbrush don't hold it in your mouth because it's a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that as well <laughs> so uh js idaho i think you've already you think you've mailed me though so i've got your address uh dirty llama I think I might have your address, but I'm not sure. Uh, Rinks near, if you're watching this, I think you, I think you've sent me your details. Um, I've got them. Uh, I'm missing. I'll tell you who I'm missing. I am missing. Vamp and Muse. So Muse, you and Vamp need to send me your name and address, so I can send your stickies out. Uh, I think everybody else that I just mentioned I've actually have. Yes, it's just Vamp and just Muse. Just seeing your comment reminded me. So Scale Model Vamp and Muse, you need to mail me your name and address so I know where to send the stickies. Uh, Sprue Glue Addict says, lol, Ted using a tube of cement glue. Yep, the, your, the traditional way. Are you doing it with a pin or are you just doing it with the mess? Just doing it with a mess. Yeah, have you got like extra bits of armor on the outside of the model from the lumps and bumps? Yeah, that's it. I shall be attacking the model as well with a hot pin, so I'm making bullet holes and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. Is that just because you can't stick a firework in the back and throw it out the window? Yeah, now I just forgot which way around this goes, but never mind. I'll just guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Earl D's in. He says, hello, my mate Marmite. Um, Barry models. Hi all, got my sticker fox. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Barry. Yeah, all the UK winners of stickers for the last a billion weeks. They've all gone out now. Uh, the last lot were posted on <coughs> Friday. One <laughs> three yesterday, Friday. Yeah, one of the days. Uh, I think it was Thursday they were posted out. Most of them. So it should all happen. All will be on the way. Uh, Trot and Charge says, I don't know what Airfix have done to their plastic, but I tried to stretch some sprue and it just wouldn't work. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, making aerial wires and things like that, yeah. yeah. Has, it, uh, has the plastic changed, Ted? Have you had any issues with making uh, stretching sprues? I can't, no, uh, I can't say I've noticed any difference. It's that, uh, it's been a while since I've built an Airfix, so it's uh, <laughs> Uh, well, it's been at least what two and a half years, <laughs> however long you've had that U boat. Uh, been four years because you had the tank before that, so yeah, yeah, it's been quite a while. Oh, well, that fit. Oh, uh, we've had some, we've had some uh, trauma. Trot and Charge says, Ah, I just dropped my pilot <laughs> on the floor and then rolled my chair over it when looking for it. I look as kit it is. I did found that. it, yeah, at least you found it. I did that with a heavy arms Gundam. I dropped the little standing pilot figure and rolled the chair over it. The problem was it was a it was a commission build, so I had to buy the whole kit again just to get the little standing pilot figure. Ooh. Yeah, that was 45 quid well spent. Ow. Uh, you, you, you could have fudged it with a bit of milliput. You could have made one and nobody well, would have done it. A 100-scale small anime Japanese woman. Yeah, blog. that's it. Yeah. That's it. The guy would never know him, but the time he had, by the time he did know him, he'd been paid on the way down the road. Yeah, I say woman, but it looked very feminine. 
Oh. Uh, Paul DiTomaso says, yes, I'm building the same kit as Ted here at work. I do security at a candy factory. <gasps> Ooh, Does that sweets. mean you're the fattest human being on the face of the earth? Because I would be if I worked at a candy factory. Yeah, what sort of sweets? Sweets, sweets. Yeah, uh, we we we'll be open to bribes and uh, we're testing the products and things like that. So yeah, yeah don't, don't forget, don't forget. Paul did send me some excellent bits and bobs in his in his care package. So, uh, but yes, it's uh, it's uh, not UK sweet candy, isn't it? Uh, candy, candy. Uh... The American American sweets are great unless they're chocolate, in which case American chocolate not that great. Yeah, Hershey bars. God, it's horrible. Canadian chocolate's good. So, yeah, I, I, think, I think this kit's telling me not to paint the outside of it. <laughs> I, I, I think it's saying that that's the right color for the TIE fighter. What are you getting? So, are, you, are you getting sort of messages? Do not well, it, it's it's, 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 it's like the paint. overall paint scheme of it. Voices and it's saying head. AC and D, which are the three colors that I have. It's saying D, do the little lasery things and the little engine things. C, which is the gray color, just do that little panel. And bla A, the black color, do the sides. So that's why he says that that's grey, and the rest of this is that bluey grey that it sort of already is. Yeah, you so can't get away with you can't get away with sorted. that. Sorted. No, I can. I can follow the instructions. No, you can't <laughs> take it. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to start a third kit. Well, I've got a third kit to do next week. Aww. So yeah, I think I've got away with that because the paint's not working on these. <laughs> uh... For some reason, it's not sticking much dad says to me fox bung muses to me i've got something to post to the states for her okay uh send me an e put me in a message to, uh, dad or an email or something to remind me dad seems to be the international like hub for mailing stuff to everybody it's quite cool yeah that yeah that's all right yeah well yeah we need to contact in america don't we that we can mail everything to and it can go all out from there yeah uh lord barkley third to me says fox you know if all the mugs have been sent out yet um this isn't a new model stream we don't work for your model, so we don't know. We just if you if you win a mug in the e model stream on a Monday night, um, we just forward your details to the guys at e models and then they send them out. Um, I would suspect they would have gone out by now. So if you haven't had one yet, it could be stuck in the post. Um, depending where you are, of course. If you're in the US of A, it might be delayed by your polar vortex nightmare hellscape, uh, the mailing. Uh, but if it's been a few weeks, just drop them an email, ask them if it's been sent. But yeah, we 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 just literally forward on your when you say hi, I've won a mug, and here's my name and address. We forward it on to the guys at your models because they do they take care of that. Uh, scale model muse, Foxy. I got stickers with Aviad's name on them. I've still got one for you. I've got so you're having it. Dad's sending it to you. You shut up now. Yeah, <laughs> you got no choice. I have to say, I'm using my uh, using my little Canadian placemat tonight as well. <laughs> um, do 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 do. Um. Fox, I, I I actually was having an idea because you guys had recommended the Marmite to me, and I was so disgusted by it that <laughs> I wanted to send you something. Don't send me Oreos. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's just boring. I'll send you something unique. Don't send Hershey bars. Yeah, yeah I don't, don't send American chocolate because we just go, eh. Yeah, there is no chocolate. Oh, Americans okay. don't have chocolate. We know that. No, this is way more complicated. I was going to send you a pound of Eastern North Carolina barbecue. Ooh. That sounds right. interesting, but I'm going to guess it's not that simple. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's good. It's at, Oh, damn. Oh, it's good eating. Um, but, uh, but it's – uh, I'm running into a problem getting it to you because I may not be able to send you pork. Okay. It's a pork barbecue. I'm still researching it. So far, I'm up to about $90 to send you a $6 <laughs> Can't you, can't, you just write, can't you just write model kit on the box and then the customs label? <laughs> well, no, that's not the problem. I got to get it, and then I can get it, and I can get it in a frozen form. But then I got to get it to you fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. Well, no, I can get it to you in like two or three days. I can get it to you with the dry ice packing, and <laughs> it'll still be probably frozen when you get it. Yeah, but you'll spend like $300. <laughs> well, uh, right now, I'm only up to about, I think she said $85. <clears throat> And that was a pound, I think is what she said. And that was not <laughs> packaging or dry ice or anything. Well, if you do do it, make sure to stick some runzas in there as well. And if you can get some poutine from over the border, you may as well. <laughs> then you fulfill three oh, wow. of my dreams. <laughs> what? What were the things? <laughs> poutine and oh, runzas. Some nice runzas from Boston. Some yeah, poutine. but poutine's hot, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's the only I'm, thing. But if you can freeze it, it in hot and frozen stuff in the same package, that really well, I can reheat it. it. I can reheat it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I'd send you a frozen pound of barbecue because the good thing about barbecue is there's enough vinegar in it that even if it's not still frozen when you get it, but it's cold, <laughs> you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be edible. And don't worry, it's not like Marmite. You'll be able to sell, smell it if it's not good anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a friend of mine actually came back from the US with a, with a mason jar of real moonshine. I can get that too. He put, he put two bars of, of uh, um, moonshine from Arkansas because he was working in Arkansas. And one of them broke. Oh, dear. It was in his bag. He took him on the carry-on. One of them broke. And I walked into his house. I'm like, holy cow. Yeah. What is that sm the whole house stank. We get apple moonshine around here. Well, I don't I know what it was, but he said, "Do you want to try some?" I went, "Dude, I'm I'm reeling just from walking through the house with paper, so I don't need to try that." Ever. <laughs> it's tough stuff. It's tough stuff. Well, it, it was. It could fly a plane on it. Jet fuel. Oh yeah, no, it it literally you can light it on fire and it'll. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's like you got Everclear over there. Liquors. It's a that's a bottled liquor. It's called Everclear. Oh, no, we don't know. We don't know what that is. Okay. Well, that's like, uh, it's something like stupid proof, and it's basically 90% alcohol. Yeah, and I think you guys have got the market on basically laboratory alcohol as a, as a, as a consumable. Oh, yeah. yeah. If, you if, you don't, if you don't like it, you can always clean your brushes with it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. Or you could put it in your car. <laughs> uh, right, we've got, we've got a response from Paul Di Tommaso. Uh, he says, I see this is where he works. Uh, Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Berries, Maynard's Wine Gums. Maynard's Wine Gums? Maynard's Wine Gums? They're, they're English. Are they not? Aren't they Scottish? Oh, yeah, they're UKish. I'm interested now. That's interesting. Uh, and more, he says. We need to, you, you can't just say and more. You have to say, you have to say <laughs> all the things, all the things, all of them, all, every single one. That's funny because Sour Patch Kids are just like gummies dipped in a sour. Yeah, just like sour, sour gummies. Yeah, well, no, they're just they're regular gummies just dipped in a sour powder. Because once you fuck all the powder off, they're not sour anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, um, it may well. Oh, Jamie says Jamie Bowen says a week today is my birthday. Happy birthday happy next birthday. week! So if you watch your next week's stream, we'll hey. remind us and we'll say happy birthday. Yeah, but just me here for next week building my plane because everybody else will have finished. In fact, <laughs> Ted will be hosting it and everything next week. We'll all be in the pub. Yeah, I won't be done mine. Yeah. Well, I might be because, you know, I've just spent – I'm not messing with it too much right this second because I spent my five minutes on it already. <laughs> and then you gave up. Yeah, and then I put it down. And you were never I, child in 1970s Britain. You can see that a mile away. Oh, no. I was a child in 80s America. <laughs> uh, Earl D says, to you, send a live pig. It won't go off. He says, that was good. <laughs> uh, Paul it tomorrow, so I have to go off and do another fire check. So we'll be right back. Scale model Mew says busted huge bottles. Ew, that stuff will burn. Uh, LD said I have a jar of poutine. It was dangerous. I mean poutine, <laughs> cheese and fries and the Canadian thing. Uh, Jimmy Bone says I don't know if I'll be in next week as they have a semi-professional snooker play down my local snooker club. I would have expected it. I don't know if I'll be in next week because it's my birthday. And I'll be out on the lash, but that'll do. <laughs> Uh, I've just all is back. There was apparently no fire. I just fired the world's smallest part across my bench. <laughs> Wait a minute. Which one was it? I bet you I, mine went the same way then. If somebody wants to, they could go back on the it, it was, uh, A13. A, A no, B13. Oh, B Point at it on your sprue. Uh, yeah, Tom will send it to you and he'll surround it with like three and a half pounds of pork. <laughs> oh, no. <my laughs> they'll, they'll list it on the box as model parts. <laughs> <laughs> with some packing <laughs> have a spruce sticking out of the container hey no, it counts yeah. uh, um, skill model muse says you can strip paint with everclear i don't know what i've just lost but i think i've just lost the wrong part so the bit that's missing i haven't a clue where it's going oh yet. the bit you've lost you don't actually need yet yeah no, that's Got right it. then don't worry yeah. about it yet so yeah, trying, i was looking at his sprue and i'm trying to think of no he's got those and i'm looking over here at this other one so yeah, so I'm thinking it's A13, which I bet is part of the undercarriage because it's very uh, tiny. Faisal, Faisal says, "Got to go to bed now, later, guys, and have fun with your builds." Thanks for coming in, Faisal. Ah, oh, that's is what it, it is. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a machine gun. 
Oh yeah, no, I got I got my parts of that one. That's right. yeah. You can make one of them. Half. I can make one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you lose the whole thing or just a piece of it? No, uh, the whole thing. <clears throat> so, uh, so I've got one machine. Well, at least you might be fine. I've got one machine gun that I can use as a template. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get some stuff out and mold it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not doing all that for the uh, mobile make. It's lucky it's going to have machine guns on it at all at this point. Uh, don't forget, everybody, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of us in. Uh, so we've got three more slots. I had to do maths in my head and everything. We've got three. I don't do maths. We've got three more slots to join the live stream. So if you do have a webcam and a microphone and a fairly decent broadband connection and you're able to not swear, you are live on Channel 4, please do not swear, uh, then you're welcome to join us. The link to join this Hangout is in the Boom Hut facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model boom hut i will now quickly go and check the boom hut see if we have any new members people saying can i join the boom hut please i think that's what puts people off when you tell them please do not swear because you are live on channel four please yeah. don't swear because when you're building these kits you need to swear yeah well Ooh. the thing is you're more than welcome to swear in the in the live chat like i said uh, before this is this this stream is nothing to do with the models at all you know that me, Ted, and Chris do the e-model stream on Monday. Nervous, we're cutting that way. Oh yeah. no! Now we're going the other way. Okay, there it is. That's the way that makes me nervous. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this stream is nothing at all to do with e-models. Uh, as is my Sunday live stream is nothing at all to do with e-models. That my streams. Um, but yeah, so you're allowed to swear in the chat. Just don't swear in the video because it's monetized. And if you swear a lot, it won't be monetized. So, but you can swear in the chat. You can use big words and rude words and scary words. Obviously, there are certain limits, but. The easy way to tell about the e-models thing is if it's on the e-models channel or not, isn't it? Yeah, that's the easy way. If it's on the e-models channel, it's an e-models show. If it's not an e-models channel, it's mine. <laughs> well, no, if it's on someone else's channel. Well, it might be. Or oh, Chris's, yeah. Or Ted. <laughs> it's, it's still mine. <laughs> Everything's mine. Uh, I didn't really last week with any language, did I? Uh, no, no. Okay. I, think I, said, I think I said shot once. I said shot kit once and pronounced it the correct way by accident. And it said, oh, it's not suitable for advertisers. And I went, actually, it is. Because... The way it works is, uh, if you get like swearings in a in a stream, because all my videos are marked safe for everybody, um, and if you get any swearings, it pops up and says it may not be suitable for advertisers. So you press a button that says it, it flipping well is, and you press a button, and then a minion reviews it and goes, "Yeah, you're right." So, oh, it you're just, okay. that means you have to press a button on telly. And that's rubbish. Okay, I'm usually yeah. good at keeping my mouth. Under control, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dave Barker says, we could do that, send Fox the pig, and I will sort it out for him, because Dave's a butcher. The only flaw uh, in the plan is that Mama Fox finds us turning in the back garden into an abattoir. Yeah. Listen, I've spent 35 years of my life trying to convince Mama Fox to let me dig a big hole in the back garden to find Roman things, and she never does. <laughs> yeah. I thought, you, when you start, when you said dig a big hole, I was like, hey, you are getting ready for a pig. Yeah. <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> do it in the ground barbecue proper you know, hawaiian so, style right there no no i'm a, i love archaeology and when i used to watch, i used to be an avid time team watcher so every time i watch time team, i want to go and dig all in the garden and find roman things like roman matchbox cars that i buried when i was a kid and roman electricity piles uh, lines and roman sewer pipe from the house but uh, i thought you were north in yeah, North Romans, North. Romans are all over the UK, dude. The UK is oh, not that I big. Not that Adrian's Wall or something. No, no. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're yeah, Adrian's North. Wall is the border between <laughs> Scotland and England. England, any any place that's called something Chester, like Manchester, that's a Roman town. Oh, okay. Or, or uh, Chester, Mo Chester. Uh, we're what? Chester, 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 Chester. Yeah, where Dad lives. Chester, Chester, Chester. Um, yeah, Chester is. Uh, on the end of a town name, the word Chester denotes. I mean, most of our big cities and towns are former Roman garrisons and towns. We're just made of Rome. We're made of Rome over here. Like London. Yeah, London Chester. Yeah. Right. I don't know my in, I don't know my British history that much. Uh, it's, it's, there's, there's much of it. There's many much. Oh, I imagine so. It's a lot older than the United States. I was going to say, so. we've, we've got some history, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, you, know, you know your entire political institutions? We've got things we can still eat that are older than that. We've got <laughs> bottles of wine older than that. So, <laughs> yeah, that that'll last you about two hundred and fifty years. Uh, Dad, Dad says about Time Team. He says, "Lol, get Phil to help you dig Fox." I love Time Team. All right, all right, Tony. Look at this. 
Stretch it to finish up. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Uh, I've just had a message from Paul, who you might notice isn't here tonight. Um, he's he's actually in Boston Airport at the moment. He's he's gone away on business. So, What's uh, Boston Airport called? Boston Logan International. Oh, he, could, he could fetch the kit. He, um, fetch he, the he sent me that, which isn't a kit, but he's obviously having more fun than we are. He's he's got alcohol and sweets. sweets. So uh, what kind of yeah. beer are those? I don't know. They look like peanut M and M's. Ew. Well, if he's in America, is that Boston America? If it is, yeah. he could fetch the pig back. That's true. This is true. <laughs> can you get down to like? Can you get us down to Boston Logan? Like in, he's in Boston, like, he can't get the kind of barbecue i was talking about you can only <laughs> in like eastern north carolina well he, he's um he's only in, in boston temporarily he's getting another plane onto chicago apparently oh well that's even further away so yeah. that doesn't help does it well chris chris told me he was in boston i said great he can stop off and get me some runs as new and yeah he's not stopping off I was like, ah he might be able to bring you back a chicago pizza though oh boring Ugh. yeah we get them in well? iceland if I if oh, I don't say that New York pizzas are the proper pizzas, everybody in America will just nuke me. So, what New York pizzas? Yeah, New York. Oh, I love them. That's I'm, cool. I'm much more scared of people from New York than I will be for people from Chicago. So. Oh well, <laughs> actually, the same probably, New York ones are the proper pizzas, and Chicago is the well, imposters. That's the thing about the United States. We have our pockets of down and downright scary folks, and I don't know. We've got such a diverse. Yeah, that the pre that president's quite scary, isn't he? <laughs> My brother was in Memphis. So. Yeah. See, that's the, that's the uh, realm that uh, Tennessee. American politics is in. Is that I'm afraid to say certain things about politics and religion because well, we don't really do politics and religion. On, on yeah, the well, it's still because everybody hates everybody else, and it just turns into a. Well, no, that's right. the problem, though, is nobody's talking to each other. They're talking at each other. And now we're getting into a demonizing where one side's always saying they're trying to bring down America. And then they say they're trying to bring down America. And it's like, why don't you talk to each other for a little bit instead of at? And then <laughs> everyone else in the world is sitting there going. Uh. Um, I oh, asked yeah, Paul what those sweets were. Oh, well, I asked Paul what the sweets were. He says, I have no idea. Something crunchy in yogurt, something chocolate, and something probably strawberry. Okay. And he then says, which reminds me, I took a photo of Canada for Fox. Yay. <laughs> Can he didn't send me the picture. I assume it was real you directly. Canadian. Real Canadian land. Real Canadian from a plane, I should think, probably. Yeah. Uh, Sprueglue says he can't swear if Mama Fox is watching. We'll find out in a minute if she is. Uh, Muse says, me not swear. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, work soon, so I really don't have time to get into this. Oh, <laughs> Anyway. Uh, Jamie Bone says, a proper pizza is ham, pineapple, bacon, and sweet corn. Ooh, bacon. See, that's pineapple. how you raise. That's how you get people angry. Now you want to start fighting about pineapple on a pizza. No, you don't put pineapple on a pizza. It's easy. See what I mean? So <laughs> Uh, have you noticed that this Messerschmitt's really finely detailed? It's got a flap on the uh, tail wheel. I thought you were doing the fuck wolf. No. Is that not just designed so it sits flat as if it's on the tarmac? Did Did you accidentally file it down? Oh, uh, I do the fuck wolf. That's it. <laughs> may have done. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a nub, so I rubbed it. <laughs> do you get Do you get the same things on the actual normal wheels, though, Ted, or is it just on the tail wheel? Uh. I don't know. I haven't looked that far. He, he hasn't followed them down yet. Uh, looked at them yet. No, no, no. There's no flats on them. Did you get the two sets? The one for in flight and landed. Wait, we actually we actually seem in the airfix would even bother to give you that kind of option in a three pound kit. Hey, they gave it to me. I can. It can be up or down. Yeah. I got two little wheels. We have a new, I... uh, a new member joining us. We have Stig of the Dump is in. Hello. Hey, Hello. Stig. Hello, Stig. Welcome, welcome. What, what's your real name, Stig? Steve. Steve. Hello, Steve, mate. I won't you, remember that. That'll just... be the only time he ever calls you that. Yeah, I will yeah. forget who you are and your name straight away, so yeah. I'll just call you Stig. Yeah. Well, I was on last week. I know. It's, it's <laughs> my memory. I've got all my memory. You could have, I could have a, a card on your jacket and be stood in front of me and i still call you Dave or Bob or something. So how's the X-Wing coming on, then? Getting yeah, well, I've been since last week, but... Um... 
Are we on a different camera angle too? Because I think I remember someone else doing a X-wing, and those are stickers, right? Uh, well, transfers, the decals. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I think you had the camera in a different position last week, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I'm trying to point at my desk instead of at me. Mm. Okay. So how how far have we, did you do any more since last week, or have you have you left it to one side? No, I've just left it to one side. I've just been uh, doing other stuff. I can see that there's some Munitorum uh, crates in the background, so I see what you've been doing, other stuff. Yeah. So Let me see your boxes. Metal boxes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. You've not been following the magazine, have you? Yeah. <laughs> so, one. Another one that I've been working on tonight. Looking good. Work. See, I like it when other people get the Warhammer in the stream and it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the, John, John Bias. Uh, oh, God. <gasps> Dreadnought. I've got two is of that, those. Is that from the Conquest? Yeah. No, no. Oh, this is just you making one. This is just, well, two. Is it you that did two? Yeah, you've done two, haven't you? Yeah. See, I did remember something from the boom hut. I had a brain <laughs> memory and everything. Yeah. Look at mint those. Okay. They are basically gumpler, you know that though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a mint inside and everything. So what what's left to do on your X wing then this week, dude? So I'm going to try and uh, do some panel lining on it. Oh yes. What are you going? What were your three tools? Just so we can figure out how you're going to do the panel lining. What were your three chosen tools? All right. Yeah. So I had. Um, what did I have? Now? Yeah. So the uh, the old Stanley knife in the shed. The world's biggest Stanley knife. Yeah. From yeah. Dad Carroll. <laughs> Elastic band, which is I mean not handy at all. I was going to say. This is no use. That was right. did you? Yeah, and a sponge. 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 Excellent. I like a nice sponge. A bit of sponge. Yeah. So how, are you, like how are you going to tackle your your uh, your washes? Are you going to do like a, a very careful thin paint pin wash or? Uh... No. So what I did, I, well, I did a little experiment on this bit last week. Uh, what I did was using this little awesome paint that you get with the kit. Oh yeah. Um, just water it down. Uh, put the whole thing in it, and it just made a mess. <laughs> uh, and then I got a sponge and quickly wipe the paint off and just kind of left. I don't know if you can see on there, probably not. But it's kind uh, of left. Yeah. Uh, don't really come out on the camera. It's really, really thin. I thought it was over there. That is, I like that idea. Yeah, because I mean, the, you, you can technically do a gun wash with the, with an acrylic paint, but you just have to be really, really fast. Because <laughs> it's right seconds. And then I kind of, I got a bit of tissue and I buffed it up a bit because it was it was all settling on the on the surfaces yeah I quickly wiped it off you've just got to be quick and it kind of worked ish yeah yeah i'm not expecting much to be so that's your that's your plan for this evening then yeah uh, uh scale model vamp says to me foxy send my stickies to dad please okay okay i'll send them all to, to dad i'll just send everything to dad i'll send my tax return to dad and everything <coughs> oh you guys when do you do your taxes? Uh, they should have been filed three days ago. Oh, they filed three days ago. Uh, Fuck out there trying to do a tax return. <laughs> you're screwed now. You're on 100 quid a day. Hey, <laughs> wow. Don't drink that one. Don't drink that one, Stig. No. <laughs> Even I can tell from here. It's the way you were kind of holding it as if to take a swig. I'm like, no. no yeah, just, yeah. I have uh, actually done that in the past, but. Yeah. Well, I've got I had two cups. Well, they were both the same. One I wash and one I coffee. And it was the same cup. And I was like, oh. Uh, we've had a join. We've had another person join. We've had Spid join us. Hello, welcome. Hey. Hello. From the Hello. Uh, right. Uh, my my internet is my I'm internet gonna is in a complete a complete pain in the backside. So I might just disappear randomly. It's been on and off all afternoon. So, I had a career last night. I've been like that all day. So yeah, if, if I just disappear, it's it's not me. It's not something you said. You got uh, a different camera angle as well. Yeah, I've not got the little twiddly, twisty thing. It's, it's upstairs because I've been, I've been wrestling with my, my router and rebooting it and, and messing about with all sorts of things. Um, but I've, I've got... What have we done on the bike? Let's, let's get some light over here so you can see it. Um, it's, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it and thinking, can I do anything else with this? Um, but it's got... It's had about three coats of red, and it's it's uh, passable, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, the black and the silver paints were a little bit better, but not much. 
and I've sort of given the orc glowy red eyes. And uh, I've tried to tried to do a bit of a wash with the black, pinned it right down with water to make a black wash, which didn't work very well, but you know. Why and what and I've got wrong with it? Tried to add a few little chips with the silver, but it's uh, it's quite a dark silver, so Who's got uh, chips? actually I'm I'm surprised it's it's better than I expected it to look with yeah. the with the supplied equipment. Well, you know why? Because it comes with uh, little bits of Citadel paint and it's not an Airfix. <laughs> no, they're not. They're crappy paints. They're not Citadel paints. Is it crappy Revell paints? Yeah. Oh, my. Because so, I was thinking, because when I opened it, it's actually got a decent brush. It's a Citadel starter brush, which is <laughs> starter kit. It's pretty decent. Oh, Pascal's come oh, That's, that's kind of cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I thought, oh, well, if the Citadel paints, and I opened the red and gave it a stir and... And put start putting the first coat of red on. I thought, no, no, these these aren't Citadel paint. <laughs> uh, like so, that's that's three coats of red, and it's it's still crap. It's only hidden by a black sort of messy wash and and bits of blobs of silver to try and make it look chipped. Looking good though. So, oh, thank you very much. I'm actually this is not bad. It's um, it it could be worse. I've got to admit. Given, given what I had to work with and and what was supplied. Dad says to you, three coats. You only need two thin coats, Sped. <laughs> Duncan well, rotate Duncan spinning Duncan, his grave, even though I he's not what, if, grave. if Duncan if Duncan could with this kit, I'll send one of these kits to Duncan and if he can do it in two thin coats, yeah. then I will I will bow down even lower to him. Uh, Nick Butler says three coats of red, Pff, nothing. I had to do at least eight coats of red on the spam box. <laughs> 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 ah, but he thinned it down. He fooled Yeah, he him. made he made the terrible mistake of thinning his paints. Yeah. I mean, this this was unthinned, and it's it's literally it's like water out of the pot, and half of this ended up on my jumper that I was wearing last week as well. <laughs> Good girl, uh, Dad writes a comment that I think I'm not sure where it go where it relates to, but it might be about making washes and putting them on the sponge. But he does a typo. I shall read it out exactly as he wrote it. <laughs> he says, it's going to be a slap it on. Oh, sorry, it's going to be a slap it on wash <laughs> with a huge spong. I think you meant sponge, but I like the word spong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to apply my water with a huge spong, and also Ted, 10 points for being on time there. Without me, that was impressive. I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah, and I, was to, I, I was like, is he going to do done it? Good girl. He's not normally that on time when you're sitting there poking him. Don't tell him we practiced. <clears throat> uh, James Lorimore is in. Welcome, James. He says, not model related, but I did house repairs. Cool. Uh, Nick Butler says Warhammer 40k, a very British gumpler indeed. Yes. Well, the dreadnoughts are because it's a big walking two legged thing with a, blue, a dude inside. It's technically, it's a gumpler, technically, just missing a V fin. In my mind. Uh, I have written for Muse and Vamp, I have written send to dad on the back of your stickers. <laughs> oh, and dad, <laughs> I've written Vamp and Muse, so you know which sticker is which. I've just seen some other bits I could paint on this. Uh, some somebody asked why everybody's wearing... Uh, oh, Scale Model Vamp says, uh, why is everybody wearing warm clothes? Is it cold? Because oh, it's bloody winter! No, no, well, it's you, you, it's like minus I might not, not be wearing any clothes at all, but I've got naked yeah. arms. Look. What's, what's the ambient temperature here? I think it was something like minus three earlier. Let's have a look. Oh, gee. Don't forget, a Spid lives in Scotland, which not only is it colder, it's also 300 years behind. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, we're still in the ice age. He's living in a little like crofter's house somewhere with like a, a single single wood fire for heat. Yeah, that's that's why my internet's up and down today. The cow that powers it is is just on a bit of a go slow. Keep going out and kicking it. Get it because it's frozen. She's being grumpy yeah. again. The cow's frozen. <laughs> Uh, scale model music 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to get my swimsuit. We don't, we don't understand Fahrenheit over here. No, you, need, you need to do it in Celsius. We don't, we don't understand these funny numbers. Does anybody use Celsius? Fahrenheit apart from the Americans? Probably not. Is it uh, uh, yeah, old British people in the 1800s did. Yeah, but does anybody else oh, use yeah. Fahrenheit now apart from Americans? No, they like Celsius to make sense. because we zero is beer zero is freezing, is where water freezes. Yeah. I'll get the sunshade out and I'll be sipping martinis on the veranda all day. Well, it's like minus five. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Kelvin oh, yeah. is also acceptable. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> scale model Muse said, cold. None of you can beat what we had. Minus three is sissy temps. We were minus 44. And that's Muse using centigrade oh. as well. 
Oh, he is. He's in so what's, what's minus three centigrade in Fahrenheit? Oh, uh, some like thirty-eight or something stupid. A big oh, number okay. that sounds warm. Would you say that's, that's, three, that's minus three? Well, that's minus three centigrade. Yeah, that's that's been ambient today. Well, that's what always gets me when Americans talk about like cold temperatures. They give us numbers that to me are like hot summer days. So it's like. <laughs> It's like yeah, it's like 30 30 degrees degrees. Out that's that's like tropical. <laughs> oh no, that's freezing here. That's water freezes is three at thirty two. Uh, Nick Butler says it makes a comment that requires a northern accent. It says, "Cold? <laughs> that not cold. When I work a lad, we slept in gutter. We now put yesterday's cup in garden. <laughs> the mother had to heat the tea with a candle. Gutter, gutter. You had a gutter." He had a guardian. <laughs> candle. He had a candle. I've got an itchy nose. Right as I started reading that, my nose started tickling. Oh. Um, let's have a look. Negative three in Celsius is 26.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 26.6 to us is a nice warm yeah, hot summer's that would day. Be, that would be a scorching cool. summer day to us. <laughs> Uh, Vamp says 44 degrees Fahrenheit minus is like minus 20 degrees. I thought you were doing minus 44 centigrade, which is really cold. Oh, it's minus 20. No, minus 20 is not so bad. <coughs> oh, 20. Oh, in Celsius. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> minus 20. Uh, Fork and all, says Broodloo. Oh, no, what's minus well, 20? You're laying the side down. You've, you've already you've had Marmite, so you're officially half British already. You should... You need to start using metric now. Yeah, you are right onto metric now. Now you've had the Marmite. Spid's right. Well, now I like the metric. I actually I can't stand the imperial system we use because it's nonsense. Was, Three cups and well, a bowl. Well, it's like I was trying. Oh yeah, no, no, no. The weight, the the weight measurements. Yeah, it's like sixteen ounces and a pound. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> so a half a pound is eight ounces, but then a cup is also eight ounces wait no isn't a cup three bushels I See, we, we don't lose cups here either though uh, one of the problems when i visited friends in california i did some baking there while i was at their place and uh, i said have you got any scales and they were like scales what like to like yeah you know, like weighing scales and like in the bathroom yeah and i was like no for the kitchen it's like oh we've got measuring cups it's like i don't, I don't know what to do with them <laughs> yeah it was a grammar <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys uh well wouldn't you use like instead of a cup of fluid wouldn't you use milliliters yeah we'd have like we, we would actually use milliliters we'd, we'd so, get a measurement in milliliters or what have you and then, then have have fluid ounces, which is weird flaws yeah I don't know why we still get that sometimes uh just very quickly dim cinderin pops in he says just pop in and say hi before heading to bed since i has the works today the postman is holding my shot kit zero hostage Samuel Poopman, thank you. <coughs> uh, John Bias says Spong monkeys. Some big crack capitals, I like that. Spong! To me, I usually just word the Spong as like a, an onomatopoeia for hitting someone. Spong! Spong above the head. Uh, you know what's weird, though, is I'm looking at the darkness, and negative 20 in Fahrenheit, if he's using American terms and he said it's negative 20... It's negative 28 in Celsius and a bunch of decimals. <laughs> There's some decimals thrown in. Wait, when do they mean oh, that? What's the same? It must be one point where it's the same thing in both. Minus 22 Fahrenheit is like three and a half quarts or something, I think. <laughs> and that's, about, that's about a ton and a half, which I think uh, is. No, I, think it, I, think it's, I think it's more like four cups, isn't it? Yeah, four, uh, cups, in the, four cups in a bushel. Yeah. Three right. quarts. Here you go. I got one then. Three quarts is three quarters of a gallon. Ooh. Ah, but is that a US gallon or a UK gallon? Yeah, exactly. Well. A what gallon? A, U a UK gallon is 4.54 litres. A US gallon is something like 3.99 or 3.98, I think. Wait, are you saying that, some, that the UK do something bigger than the Americans? I believe so, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this, this again, when, I, when I've spoken to American friends about the price of petrol or gas, as they refer to it, and yeah. we have talked about the price in gallons, and I've done calculations, and I've said, well, that's, that makes yours really, really cheap. And then I found out that their gallons are actually smaller than our gallons. Mm, well, um, it's not a massive amount, but it is different. 
Osric 9000 says that minus 32 is the same for Fahrenheit and Celsius. That must be the crossover. That's the one. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Why, why do they call it gas? Because it's definitely a liquid. Gasol uh, gasoline. Gasoline. But why is it called gasoline when it's petroleum? Because uh, petroleum, petroleum is the root product. Because you know. petroleum product, but your petrol covers petroleum. Yeah. Diesel is petroleum. Kerosene is petroleum based. Gasoline is petroleum based. So were we just lazy and just decided, yeah, we'll just call it petrol. So when you say petrol, do you mean kerosene, diesel, gasoline? No, no, if, if we meant diesel, diesel, we'd have said diesel. Yeah, we're petrol, we're diesel. Well, it's like uh, lacquer thinners as well. Like, you guys see lacquer thinners. And we, I mean, I used to spray paint. Who's so, uh, yeah. building a shelf? I can hear you building a shelf or something. We don't say lacquer thinners, we just spelling those thinners. Who's, who's doing DIY? I think it's TK. I am. TK's got the speaker, <laughs> like, going going crazy. He's building a, a shelf or something. No, I just cut up a piece of the box. Oh, right. This is like bang, rattle, crap, bang. <laughs> but, yeah, we'd, we'd have cellulose thinners because uh, of nitrocellulose-based paints. Can I just point out that TK's been watching Adam Savage use paints? Well, what's he been doing? Because he was, he was banging his paints on the desk like... Tick, 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 tick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight. We've got one slot left. If anybody wants to join us, we've got one slot left before we start having to rotate people around. At the moment, you guys have been on with us for a while because there's nobody waiting to get in. Um, as soon as we get nine people, then we'll start rotating people around. Um, but we've got one slot left, so if you want to come and join us, the link for this hangout is yeah. at facebook.com yeah. forward slash groups yeah. forward slash model yeah. boom hut. Uh, click on the oh, link. Nice. Remember, you can see it. Which you probably can't see. Hang on, I'm doing the thing, Sped. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're hopeless, aren't you? So is, is it now that we shouldn't be talking then, or can we keep talk, talking now? Can we, can we talk now? Oh, oh yeah. Now? Is yeah. It now, okay. Can we talk now? Join this gang of rapper mates that you can't like, like, heard. Oh, you. You, wonder, you wonder why I can't join in the group, Bill? Because I've got to heard all these idiots. So, so yes, if you want to, I'm only Jack. If you want to come and join the hangout, uh, the link is in the Boom Hut Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model Boom Hut. It's an uh, announcement at the top of the page. The link in there, click on it. You've got a webcam and a microphone. Fantabulous. Come and join us. There's one slot left. <laughs> right, now you can go. Oh, yay. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just saying, I've, um, I just noticed a couple of pouches and a little bandolier that I forgot to paint. I bet um, well, I've done in red just to. Just to Try and make it stand out a little bit. You probably can't see it. It's really it's going to be really difficult to see, but. It would help if I locked on the camera for you. There you go. I, don't know. I say, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a couple of little pouches. They're a nice brighter red than the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, you need, some, you need some Rhinox hide and steel legion drab and maybe some um, uh, dryad bark and some null oil as well for your leathers. Right, just, just give me one minute. I'll have a look in the. Um, <laughs> you can't use them though. Yeah, in in the kit, though. <laughs> Because uh, I was actually thinking, because uh, when I'm doing my RTSD for Star Wars Legion, I was doing the uh, B26 pilot color scheme on the guy driving the RT, and I was going to use red leather paint like as a base coat, and then Agrax Earthshade to make it kind of bring it more of a not too stark. Like, because Agrax is brown and the yeah. black is the gnome. And yeah. one of the, yeah, if, you, if you've got somebody in red, you can use either. If it's if it's a if it's a dark red color, then yeah, either, like red. either um, null oil. But you've got to then go back over it once you've covered it in null oil. Or I mean, you've got to go back over with the ideally what you want is the base red color, then your shade like Agrax or null <laughs> or Carabur crimson or whatever one you want. And the highlights. Yep, and well, you, what you do is then you go back over with the original base color, but avoid the areas where the shades cut. To One is stay, and then you go over with your highlight color. Hmm. I'm working on it. It's getting yeah. there. It's getting there. Yeah. Oh, and you may, if you want it to look dark red, you can have the red and then the shade, and then just do the edge highlights. Or I don't do edge highlights, but you know the highlight colors without redoing the base color again. Yeah, I'll um, slap it on and let it go. <laughs> James Lorimore says, I am a cat herder. Osric 9000 says, I am a nerf herder. What yeah. is a nerf? 
Star uh, Wars. That, that's, no, I know. I, know, I mean, what is a nerf? It, nobody ever explains what a nerf is. Oh, so yeah. That's just uh, like pushing custard uphill with a fork. Who are you oh, calling no. custard? This is, this is you know, trying to organize all you guys. That's what they're describing. You guys got nine. I'm going to jump out for a little while. All right. Maybe I'll come back. Six, well, six. I see one, two. Oh, no, I'm two squares. Wait a minute. Are you two squares? No, you're not. Oh, you will be because, yeah, yeah, your own one's bigger. Yeah. That's right. what happened. <laughs> okay, well, either way, I still got to go do some stuff for a few minutes. All right, dude. Maybe Thanks for having me again. No worries. Okay, so now we've got two slots. So two of you uh, have uh, oh. the link. Join the stream. I've discovered something. Uh, Is it edible? He, he supplied stickers, which aren't decals, but are in fact stickers. Quite literally do not fit anywhere. <laughs> they, there is... There's, there's one bit that I thought belonged to a certain place that looked like it fit, and it doesn't. But well, if, it, than... if it's an old bike, there's actually no markings on them anyway, apart from checker patterns you have to paint yourself. Yes, but look, there's, none of them fit anywhere. There's maybe there's a strip of light flames and a strip of checker pattern which I could maybe slice up and squeeze on somewhere. But yeah, but, um... but none of them fit anywhere. <laughs> Nick Butler says, and I'm not sure what it's... Oh, when I was talking about painting red, he says, because it's all about the base, about the base, no highlights. Oh. Yes. Uh, let's have a look in and see how everybody's doing. So we'll go through and see. Chris, how are you getting on with your... I'm doing red? lovely. I, I'm I'm doing the... Uh, the oh, the bit that everybody the hates. solar tire panel things. I haven't done that side yet. But the black's coming out. I'm, I'm worried I might run out of black because I'm only halfway through and, yeah, it's getting there. To keep the Star Wars fans happy, I should point out they're radiators, not solar panels. They're solar panels. No. But anyway, yeah, moving on. So, yeah, is, uh, have you given up painting? Are you actually going to paint the thing grey or are you just painting panels grey? I'm just doing the panels now. <gasps> no, it's, it's, right. like, it's, it's, it's bluey grey. That's the colour oh. it should be. I think you have to do a wash to weather it afterwards then, just to make up. I'm going to say, what time? We're, we're all like, halfway through, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who's next? Next, Pascal, how are you getting on with your... Um, Superb. Uh, it's going great. Uh, the 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 wooden colors very nice. Actually, it's uh, bad. Actually. That's not bad. Actually, they're giving you a decent paint. Yeah, but right. the, the, the yellow white is a little bit thick. Yeah, kind of ivory color, bony color for the sails. Yeah, uh, but I cannot spill it. No, you can't afford to spill any of it. <laughs> no, but all right. Oh, oh wow! So thick. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> they require some thinning. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just uh, painting on the spruce. <laughs> so basically, everybody, Pascal's managed to buy the kit that isn't a complete ass. Yeah. And we should all be sad. Oh, now, oh, only the colors, the glitter color, and so. But yeah, uh, you've got the glitter gold, haven't you? Yeah. I think <laughs> I'm going to use it. Make it look fabulous. Yeah. The emperor would be proud. Right, let's do it next. Skipper Ted, Skipper Ted, are you getting on your Tedward? You've got uh, a plane built there. Yeah, it looks a bit like an airplane now, doesn't it? It's got wings on and things. Crikey. I'm, I'm still debating whether or not uh, I'm putting the flaps in the down position, if that's what aircraft airplanes do. I'm not an airplane. I've just discovered that it says do not glue this bit so you can. Take that off and impress your friends as to how the engine. Yeah, look, 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 at the, look at the engine. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah. You, you've got optional parts on yours. Yeah. So uh, we've had Jay Madison has joined us. Let's just quickly go to Jay and see who. Uh, what we've got. Hey, Jay. Hey, Fox. How you doing, bud? Not too bad. I'm not getting a picture for you. Is that me or is that anybody else? Uh, yep, yeah, that's you, Fox. We are really the picture. Channel. Uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I should be back in a second. One second. <laughs> As about to say, I'm, I'm definitely here. So, well, while he's gone, Jay, what, what are you building? <laughs> um, at the oh, moment, right, right, the oh. one day I'm going to do that, and there's going to be no slots left. When Fox comes back, oh. pretend we can't see him. <laughs> I think he already knows like that uh, there was plotting in his absence. Yeah, I was only away for a second. <laughs> uh, so how are you doing, Jay? What's your what are you working on? Uh well at the moment I've got a I've uh, hang on, how many kits have I got in my stash? Wait there. One, two, three, four, five. Five, possibly six 
Fox in my stash currently. Mm. Uh, Fox will make a noise because four of them are Gundams. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got uh, two that I picked up from Comic Con this year. So, have you got yourself a starter okay. kit for the group build there? The the what now? You got yourself a starter kit for this group build? Um, you like what group build? <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, didn't know, I didn't know like that anyone was actually going to be building. I just thought I would pop in and and see what everyone's doing. No, um, no worries, that's all right. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, like I, I, I end up like building and repairing stuff most of the time during my my day job anyway because people always break things. So. Hmm. Well, that's <laughs> it's usually things that have like four wheels and engines and people come in and go yeah this doesn't work and i'm like yeah well done yeah. <laughs> okay don't talk to me about cars that don't work <laughs> uh, i loved i loved the uh, the video that you did of yours actually fox where you put the uh, where you put the uh, the, the bomber uh, shark teeth on it that was pretty awesome what, on the on the on the car yeah on yeah the oh, on the car yeah that was um when I used to work with someone uh, who uh, our, we did detailing and we had access to a spray booth, and he's like, should we just, should we just rat rod your car? And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Why not? It so came out really, out. really well. It looked awesome. Yeah. Well, the, the trick with that is we actually used, like, model-making techniques. So we... I, I did see you break out the mask all, and I, I was like, if he doesn't break out any Starship filth, it's not uh... him. <laughs> but if, if, if people don't know, there's a video on my channel that's how to rock, run a car in four minutes. Um, but yeah. basically, my real life car. It's about we, 50 hours. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a weekend. We took it into a, into a body shop. We stripped it, sanded it. We uh, primed it. We sprayed it with Ipanema Brown, which is an Audi color. It's an Audi lacquer color. It's a really nice color as it's well, actually. Nice, coppery color. We sprayed it with Ipanema Brown. That was to do the rust coat. Yeah. Then we um, applied. About three bottles of Humbrol Mascol model making masking fluid. <laughs> and then we sprayed it. The bottles, though. Yep, then we sprayed it, it with it like a... Gulf Blue, which is a was it the little bottles of Mascol, or was it the big bottles? No, little proper normal bottles. Little, like, oh, just the, the little ditty ones? Yeah, we went through loads of those. Oh, wow. So we, we covered the whole thing in Mascol where we were going to put rust spots and stuff. Then we went over it with some Volkswagen Gulf Blue, which is a water based paint. Yeah. Uh, gave that about half an hour to cure off a bit. And then pulled all the mask all off and then went at it with some scotch bright to rub away the mask, the uh, the blue Gulf blue away from on top of it. Because the eponema is a lacquer paint, it would withstand yeah. the scotch bright. The water based Gulf blue, of course, would just come off. So we managed to put rust streaks by just scotch brighting the blue paint away to reveal the brown. And then we gave it, we were supposed to give it a matte clear coat. Yeah, you know, proper U pole automotive. Yeah, and uh, we didn't shake it the first time enough. So we, half of it's matte, half of it's gloss down one side. It didn't quite go as well. It's, it's a rat rod. That's the thing. You can just make it up. <laughs> yeah. It's the, thing, the thing is, are you still finding muscle? <laughs> yeah, all these years later. <laughs> Does it still smell of muscle? <laughs> oh, yeah. I find muscle. The one thing I, the one thing I lost was the, the, the one of the wing mirror covers halfway down the M56 on the way home, and I've still never found that. So. Oh, no. Never mind. But I've just got a bit of, like, you know, bin bag taped in place. It adds to the character of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all for at the minute. Uh, anyway, right, right, right. I was oh, in, the in with everybody. Let me quickly go back to was who was I with? I was with Skipper Ted, wasn't I? Uh, so Ted, yes, you're you're coming along there. You're rocketing through, aren't you? Yeah, I've actually I've, I've changed my mind, and I think I'll do it wheels down. Ah. Is that uh, because you just happened to have glued the wheels down? Yeah. No. <laughs> I think you might change your mind halfway through when you lose one of the wheels. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be. It could be. It could be battle damage. This. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be a moment of regret and then some snapping and then it'll be wheels up a sense of diorama coming on yeah um spid how are you getting on with your your orc bike well i have discovered um that not only are um the stickers not sized appropriately to fit anywhere on the bike they also suck massively at sticking to anything yes um, so I've, I've took a couple of the checkered ones, which um, I've just stuck on the sides, one on each side underneath the guns. And I, I took an arrow, which I stuck on, on there, but it keeps keeps peeling up. Point it's like a big, fat, white arrow? Yeah, big, fat, that's, white that's arrow. A space really... marine, I don't know where you got that. That's a space marine symbol. 
<laughs> well, that, that's, that's just to remind the orc which way the cannons shoot. <laughs> but it keeps popping up and falling off. And I was going to stick another couple on, but they, they just won't stick. There's so. probably, probably the reason that there's such bad stickers is that Games Workshop don't do stickers. If, if you have a sticker that doesn't <laughs> stick, then what is it? It's a, it's a small it's postcard. A, a faller. A note, a reminder. A, a flopper. <laughs> um, I don't know. What would you call it? it it's crap, is what it is. Failure. Yeah. Who's next? Stig, how are you getting on with your uh, X Wing there, Steve? Um, How's the wash going? Right. Oh, oh, you, you get that rubbed off first because if you wait 10 minutes, it'll be knackered. Yeah, but <laughs> the thing is, I need to let it dry a little bit because okay. I'm trying to wipe it off because the details are deep. It's just sucking it straight back out again. You're trying to get your timing just right. Ish, kind of. I've been using the sponge because that just doesn't work. So I'm just, just going to just this. So that's two of my items that are completely useless. I think I think now we're actually officially required to call them a spong, not a sponge, thanks to Dad. Oh, oh what? A spog? He called it a spong because he missed out the E on the end. A spong. So the no, official I've, I've spong. Heard that phrase. New spong. official name. Yeah, the boob up spongs. <laughs> Why is that chipping point the spong? It kind of working, but it doesn't look particularly great. Uh, yeah. You work with what you got. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... I, I want to know what cover versions the Boom Hut Spongs would bring. Uh, I think they'd be Madness covers. You think? Yeah, <laughs> Madness of the other 1980s scar, two plane scar, I think. Or just Madness. Uh, TK, how are you getting on with your the stealth plane that I can't even see because it's so stealthy? It's not even there. <laughs> no, it's not there. <laughs> I, I actually lost it. Yeah, I, I've no <laughs> idea where it is. I can't even. I can't. I can't actually see it. All I can see is a cutting map. Yeah, I'm trying to do a sort of wash in the wheels right now. Don't know if it shows up, but I think this works. Yeah. And what, what, uh, I'm, I'm waiting what? for white paint to dry. <laughs> How do you know when it's dry? If it's that translucent, but like, is it dry yet? I don't know. If, if, if it st <laughs> stops sticking to my fingers, ah. uh, it's probably dry. But okay, so is that bit underneath? And it's the whole mess of fingerprints. It's hellish, yeah. Just like in the old days, you know, no patience. Who thought? Who would have thought that by choosing to make a stealth bomber, you'd, be paint, you'd have a nightmare painting white? This is the last thing that would cross your mind if you're making a stealth plane. Make it right. <laughs> Do you want to make a stealth plane? Oh no, I can't be doing painting white. Weird fact about those: originally, the U.S. Air Force, uh, the original prototype for the Nighthawk, was actually white. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where they where they got that from. I just I, I assume that somebody just thought, hmm, wouldn't it be great if the uh if the white scars from Space Marines had a stealth plane? <laughs> the white scars. <laughs> Wait, what yeah. <laughs> they're a, they're a, uh, they're a nightmare to paint. Yeah. I haven't, paint, I haven't done any I haven't done any forty K for probably I'd say about fifteen years, like oh, when the, 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 when the yeah, prices yeah. like went up, like Games Workshop basically made me redundant from the hobby. Uh, well, um, the, the thing you have to remember <laughs> is that all the paints totally different now. So if you hated the paints before, they're, they're great now. I actually, I actually really, really liked them. Oh, they were, they were right, great. Right, right then. They're even better now. I have used some of the newer ones, and I've got to say that they are very, very good. Oh yeah, Dad. I mean, I, I, for many years, I sucked at brush painting. Then I got some Citadel paints. Now I absolutely love brush painting. It's the, the most. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I can, See, I can, I can, I can brush paint. I can brush yeah, paint until the cows come home. But if you put an airbrush in my hand, I'm like, oh, what, what do I do with this? No, I just get grumpy if I have to. Use it. I have to prime all this stuff today. It's like, oh, look at my airbrush. Out. Oh. <laughs> can, can I ask? Oh, Dad, oh, I don't want to do it. Can I just ask why Dad's shouting red at me? Uh, why? Why? Uh, because he he doesn't like anything that's blue. Well, but I'm not got any blue. What? I don't know. I don't know why he's shouting red. Why? Are you, why are you shouting red, Dad? Uh, um, Nick asked me if I'm going to be panel lining the fuselage with thinned black. I I can have a go. I think I think given the fact you're doing most of it unpainted, I think you should do something. If I've got any black left when I finish doing the panels, I'll I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll you see. really need a little bit of, in a lot of water. Yeah, a bit like, a bit like, you know, a bit like if you were painting, I don't know, Provost, for example. You could probably use your paint cleaning water. <laughs> you probably could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but mine's on white, so I, um, 
I'm not sure, but Skill Model Vamp says you should do a Spong build next. <laughs> Spong build. <laughs> Spong build. <laughs> uh, what we've got going to chat? Uh, Nick Butler says, "Here's a question going back to measurements: Is it 40k in America or 40m?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that. It's, I, I'm guessing it's kind of going to be like, is that Imperial or metric? Uh, uh, Nick Butler says, I can brush paint, especially if it's a spam vost. <laughs> spam vost. Uh, Dad says, just red. He's just shouting red at you for no reason. Okay. I think he's Orange. Not, I think he's not taking his pills today or something. Is it a bit like drink? Drink. Fifth, fifth, that would be an matter. Oh no, father, not toilet cleaner. You know what that does to you. Oh no. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Right, Google, have you got this now? This cow is very yeah. small. That cow <laughs> very far away. Have you got that now, Duncan? Dougal? No, uh, no. no. <laughs> we were actually watching Father Ted at work the other day in our lunch hour. <laughs> People should watch Father Ted at work all the time. And not they, they, they should. It was brilliant. It got it got to the part where uh, he's uh, he put the lampshade on his head and there was the Chinese people outside his window. And the perfectly square uh, piece of dirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every, everybody in the room just kind of lost it when he went out the front door and there's one of the farmers and he's like, I heard you're a racist now, father. <laughs> 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 what made you get into that kind of behaviour, I wonder? The perfectly square piece of dirt on the window like this. Ah... <laughs> uh. I don't know, Father Ted. Can't go wrong. It's it's, it's usually like if, if people are around during lunch hours, it's usually comedies or it's the World Rally Championship. That's it's thing, usually it? one. It's uh, one uh, it depends if France are racing. <laughs> uh, Sprudlou says feck. Zadster says down with this sort of thing. Steady now. <laughs> Steady now. Steady now. Um, Jamie Barron says Fox is that a military jacket? Yes, uh, my brother got me this. My brother lives in Tennessee. He got me this from an uh, army circle store. It's a USMC, uh, 80s USMC jacket. Great. Yeah, you didn't very look it up. Very uh, nice. the screen for nothing. You got what? <laughs> Say what, TK? <laughs> you didn't look it up uh, a bit just before the stream for nothing. Yeah, I had to look. I was like, because I'll, I'll keep me <laughs> Yeah, I'm it. wondering if this was, was a planted question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I did look up before we started the stream what it was, because I've not worn this for about two years. And I was like, I must look up what it is. I guessed it was possibly Marines. You had it on last week. No, I didn't. Not worn it for ages. <laughs> last week I had, what did I have last week? I had uh, my hoodie on last week. It's not it's not that cold, so it's not it's a bit too warm to wear my hoodie because it's actually quite warm in here, so just messing with you, you know. I know. <laughs> I can't just wear a t shirt because the, the gut will stick out and it's not good when I wear a t shirt. I go all the <clears> parks and it's not right. I'll just have another sip of my wonderful beer. Yeah. Oh, shut up! You've got beer, and you can just shut up now. I've, I've only got I've only got tea. I've got I've got uh, well a very fine. Uh, is it Marvel? Com yeah, I believe it's Marvel. Uh, Marvel Comics Star Wars tea, mug yeah. filled with uh, tea, and uh, yeah, just tea and roll ups. Well, the, the important question is: Is it Barry's tea? Um, I'd, I, I'd, I I would hope not. I'm I'm not a, a tea thief. Well, I would say it's either Barry's tea or uh, you're wrong. <laughs> or it's not tea. I hate tea. Okay, I okay. you might, tea. you might, you might have to explain Barry's tea for me. Barry's tea is a is a brand of tea. It's an Irish brand of tea, and I hate tea. I can't stand tea, but I will drink liters of Barry's tea. One of my followers. Uh, okay, no, it's uh, it's Yorkshire tea. Oh God! Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Barry's tea all the way. I can't um, remember if it was Jerry or some one of my followers. That might have been Jerry, but I can't remember. I do apologise whoever sent it to me. Sent me in a in a in a care package. They sent me some Bar Barry's tea, and I'm like, I don't really like tea, but I'll try it. Oh, <gasps> it's really nice. So I'll have to look. I'll have to look it up. Mum went on to Amazon and bought like 600 tea bags. Wow. <laughs> and a, a hedgehog cow at the same time. Have you used it? Hey, hang on, tea, tea bags and a hedgehog house. It was the first thing she ever bought on Amazon was a, a 600 pack of tea bags and a hedgehog house at the same time. Whoever packed that order must have yeah. must have been like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, the, these Amazon recommends options are getting very, very strange. Oh, yeah, agreed. Previous people that bought this also bought, what the hell did they buy? 
<laughs> oh, the funniest one is, is looking up tools on Amazon. That That's the funniest one because it's like, hmm, would you like to buy a 3.8 uh, drive socket set? Oh, well, you bought that. You might like a chainsaw. Well, not really. I don't see how this is going to be useful to me in my current situation. It's, it's the way that it says. It's not, it's not even a case of um, would you be interested in this? It's like people who bought this also bought this. Yeah, well, You're people like, who yeah. bought hedgehog houses yeah. also bought tea bags. <laughs> Let's go on with that first. Um, Foxy has Amarula and Amarula fruit, li fruit liqueur, so creamy. I like Amarula. That's the one that's made from the fruit that the animals drink they, that, that makes them go wobbly. Uh, I could use a chainsaw. Then says, then says Fox won't drink live on stream. I, I drank beer last week. And I've seen I've seen Fox drinking on a um, manly beer, and it was a proper manly ale. It was a pint of um, uh, Lancaster. It was a bottle of Lancaster Bomber ale. I've heard that's very very nice. Actually, very, very nice. I got like a six pack of ales because I don't drink. I don't drink. I refuse to drink fizzy lager crap. It's just nonsense. It's just, it's just complete nonsense juice it's just positive. oh one one of uh, one of my customers at work bought me uh, a crate of carlsberg for christmas and i was Ugh. just like i'll i'll take it to be nice but it's still sat in the cupboard yeah it's look like i've got an iq less than 12 Ugh. but yeah well they, they must have thought so because i'm an apprentice they were like oh yeah they'll drink any old pishy will yeah. just give him that because yeah for me it's ale all the way it's got to be like thick brown and twigs and dead things in it I can't be doing fizzy lager nonsense. Lager drink. I've, yeah. I've never, never been a fan of uh, lager at all. I like beers, like proper beers. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've never been a lager fan at all. I don't like the aftertaste that it leaves. The only fizzy lager type drinks I will drink are Japanese beers, because all of them. Uh, and <laughs> because and, all and, of them. And, and the classic the classic beers that you get when you go for a curry like your um, your tiger beer and things like that it's, you're mm. curry, it's, it's, it's the rules but the weird thing is that um the japanese stuff and the indian stuff is just faster period to the european stuff anyway so i think one of one of the nicest ones that i've tried is actually a chinese beer called sing tao and it's yeah, actually yeah. made of rice sing tao is really nice yeah, that is really good. Yeah, if you go to a Korean restaurant, you tend to get that for bizarrely. Mm, FS is really good as well. That's a uh, Turkish lager, very popular in Cyprus. That's really nice. Uh, Actually, scale no, it's actually a, a beer. I'm being called a heathen. I don't know why. Oh, that's, that's not very nice. Goblin gold. Bill D says, I've never used a <laughs> brush until I got one in my Conquest set, and I love it. It's a really good brush. It's a little sort of pointy one, little triangle shape one. They're really great for getting a nice smooth coverage. They're really good. Which one's that? Uh, you won't know because you haven't done it for 20 years. Uh, the Citadel base brushes, they're either square. I'm not, I'm not that old. <laughs> they're either the big flat square ones like chisel brushes. They're a bit like the dry brush, but smoother. Or you get the little sort of teardrop shaped one that's like kind of that. Oh, yeah, like, I know what you mean. They're beautiful for getting a smooth finish. I, 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 did, I, I did have one, and I swear I've misplaced it. It's probably in my box somewhere. Steady now. Not that kind. Of easy. Scale model vamps mentioning heated sake. Everybody does sake. I like, um, <clears throat> if you really want to suffer the next day, just go to a Korean restaurant and trust somebody who's Korean to order you soju. Oh, dear. Yeah, I made that mistake. Went to a Korean restaurant. One of the people with was an actual Korean and said, "I will order everything. Leave it all to me." Oh no! I, I will. And we're like, okay, well, well, it's fine. And then he orders all the finest food, which was fantastic. But he also ordered us like bottle after bottle of soju. We didn't know what that was, and we we're like, "Oh, it's great." Oh, oh no! It, it, it's nice when you. It, it's cool when like when you try it you're like oh this is really nice and then you get about six or seven bottles deep and then people actually tell you what it is and you just go oh no it's, it's more just like it's more just like when you vomit up somebody else's <laughs> spleen you know something's gone wrong <laughs> uh, tom uh, tom's back with it hey tom he's got some fizzy lager nonsense that's not real beer that's a, is, that, is, that, is that american okay. weak beer that's made of water and things no, it's, it's, a li it's a light beer, oh. so... It's a Pilsner. Is it like 1.2% or something? Oh, no, they're, they're all like four. I mean, but, yeah. Okay. If you drink enough of them, it'll get you there. <laughs> get you there slowly. 
Because I'm, I'm saying nothing. I'm just glad that my brother-in-law's not here. He'd be like four <laughs> percent amateur. Well, we always, yeah, I, well, I used to drink Ice House. I used to drink Ice House, but Ice House has uh, the five point five percent, and then they upped it, and they upped it to like five point nine percent. And I don't like tasting alcohol in my beer. Like, there you I go. Like, you you get you're getting on British territory now with like six yeah. percent. <laughs> see, you see, if you want to make if you want to make me happy, get me a few bottles of uh, Robinson's Old Tom, which is I think about eleven point two percent or something. And it's like yeah, it's like, like, like a black hole. You can't see through it. It's black. Yeah, but you yeah. can take the alcohol in it though. It's an ale. It's like it's a proper ale. <laughs> like mm. with a head on it. Yeah. Oh, you don't want a head? No, 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 no. It's that kind of ale that you don't want a head. <laughs> My favourite beer in the whole world. My favourite ale in the whole world. Uh, and nobody will know what this is. It's a local beer. It's a local brewery. Uh, near me is a place called Dunham. And there's a state okay. Dunham Hall. There's like a stately old, the National Trust. They've got a brewery, the Dunham Brewery. And they do a what particular beer they do, or one of them is called Dunham Milk Stout. Nicest beer you'll ever drink. It's the nicest beer you'll ever drink. I don't know one place. I'll have to look out for that. But I don't know one place that sells it, and it's a local bar that is owned by the Dunham Brewery. So, ah, okay, they don't so, they don't ship it around too much then. Really nice. They do a few different beers, but they go from smooth to fizzy, but they're all just black as night, basically. Right, guys, you will be checking that four point nine percent in America says Nick Butler is the same as four point nine five in the UK. It's probably measured different as well. You just compare Budweiser versus Gold Label. Oh, oh, hello, doggy. She's better. You gonna say hi? Hey, Papa. Who's that a, is a good Papa. boy? <laughs> Puppy dog. Go away. Puppy dog. She wants your beer. She's looking. At you. <laughs> She's like, Dad, you've got beer. I need beer now. No, they used to like. I don't let her have the beer, but the condensation on the can. <laughs> Puppy dog. We're always like. We always want puppy dogs on the stream. Dogs are always welcome on the streams. Yeah. Thank well, she's a beast. I like Papa. <laughs> she's like, I, can hear it. I don't know where it is. Hold on, she's she's looking for you. <laughs> hey, Papa. <laughs> oh, you see her? I'll lock it on me. Can she? See? You were sure I'm able to see it, yeah, right? I looked, and then she's like, <laughs> I'll stop whistling now because I'm sure my neighbours don't like it either, and and be watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Jamie know. Brown asks Ted, "Where's model making chicken?" Uh, she's asleep tonight. Uh, yeah, she's been uh, shut up. She's all fast asleep. <clears throat> Career of Animal Week next week. Yeah. Uh, Scale Model Vamp says we have something called Castle Milk Stout, nice, thick, very dark beer, almost like Guinness. Yeah, Guinness is really nice, but there are so many ales and uh, stouts much nicer than Guinness. Trust me on that. Guinness is okay. We can get that over here. Yeah, Guinness is Guinness is a bit like <sighs> it's too thick for me. What's the best way to explain it? It's like uh, drinking a loaf of bread. Guinness, drinking Guinness is a bit like going to an Indian restaurant and ordering steak and chips. It's just boring and bland. You want the interesting stuff. It's the middle class, middle of the road, mainstream. It's it's the yeah. It's a gateway, it's a gateway ale. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's a gateway drug to get you into the proper world of grown up manly. It, it's it's oh. funny the fact that it, like it's it, you know you say gateway ale and I'm just sat here thinking hold on a minute it's not even an ale it's a no, but it's, <laughs> yeah, no, but it's a bit like the, it's a bit like people that buy the model of Fiesta that has the two stripes on the bonnet when it's actually the least powered of all of them. <laughs> don't, don't even talk to me about fiestas. I had a fight with one on Tuesday. Yeah. Do you guys have the people over there that get the uh, Asian little rice burning cars and then put the loud bumblebee mufflers on them? Yeah, we call them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sadly, we have a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, just making sure no, that one. Because <laughs> that's. Yeah, I, I see quite a lot of those. There, there was a guy that came in to have his car MOT'd and we just turned around and said, no, nah, your exhaust too loud, it's failed. Tom, and he what, was you, like, what you need to do <laughs> is when we finish this stream, you need to go and look up the word chav. <laughs> oh, yes. Chav. Just look up chav. C-H-A-V. Chav. C-A-V. C-H-A-V. 
My yeah. sister-in-law, who was born and born and raised in you know in Memphis, um, she didn't she she couldn't get what a chav was until I said, kind of white trailer trash, but worse. And she went, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> oh, I brought you now. I understand. Yeah. Re replace yeah. replace trailer park for council estate. Replace firearm for blade, and replace like I don't, I don't know so what's um, a well replace a six pack of of. of ridiculously weak beer for a litre and a half of really crap cider. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. God. I'm yeah, having... They don't hang out at the mall, they hang out at bus stops. Like, I'm having know? flashbacks to my teenage years. They, they hang, out in, stay, hang out in uh, skate parks as well, quite a lot. I wish I could... I wish I, oh, no, wait a minute. I can share the screen because I just looked it up. Um, <laughs> is it, it, it going to affect my advertising revenue? <laughs> oh no! no show me a video because I can't show videos in the live stream. How do I share my? Will it let me? Uh, if you, uh, yeah, it's not going to let me because it's just not? going on application window right here. Yeah, don't share don't a video like, though. No, 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 it's not a video. It's just a picture because it's Chad. Charver, in parts of northern England, is a pejorative epithet used in the United Kingdom to describe a particular stereotype of antisocial youth dressed in sportswear. Yeah, <laughs> that's about right. Yeah. And there's a picture of, like, I don't know, dudes in their 20s wearing jogging suits. Oh, they're not old. No, they're not in their 20s. They're younger than that. Yeah. See, there's a, there's a reason that the American you get you Americans don't understand this, but like when we see like let's say an American truck driver, and he's got a baseball cap and he's 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 ducked the bill, so it's like that. That's fine. <clears throat> if you duck the bill on a baseball cap and it's that kind of pointy angle, like a truck driver, not a problem. But <clears throat> he's, he's got a baseball cap and they've got that crisp flat bill on the front and it's just straight and it's flat. And British people just go, "What a tit." Well, that's <laughs> yeah, because that's what you're yeah, yeah, too. <laughs> I, I think oh. the reason you're um, underestimating their ages is because they've all got grandchildren with them. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, so there we go. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's helpfully says they usually call Wayne and Wayne Etta. <laughs> yeah, they also think they I am to... smoking a fag. <laughs> 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 Yeah. You think they're American as well? What? Oh, uh, they, 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 do, they do. Yeah, they think they all think that they're from South Central Los Angeles or, or Compton or somewhere around yeah. there. But in reality, if you actually took them there, they just evacuate oh, their bowels and <laughs> they, they, yeah, the, the the entire contents of their nervous system would empty through their rectum, and they would be like, I, I, I would, place. They'd be I, like, I would. Yeah, yeah, they would automatically change into very kind British children and say, terribly sorry, old boy, but I would really like to go home about now. Thank you. Yeah, they'd be there and be like, they're all hard. Be like, I want my mum. Yeah. <laughs> I got prepared for the whole, everybody here has guns. Uh, most people carry knives. Like, I've yeah. got one. It's like, here, I'm, this isn't on the bench. This is right out my pocket. <laughs> I keep that on me at all times. Uh, I have friends of mine that carry a pistol. Uh, we've Jack got open, as well. Well, we've got open carry here, so you can actually walk around. There's dudes in Walmart around here that I've seen with pistols. Uh, John Bias actually asked earlier on, and I'll extend the question to you then. Tom, where where actually are you? Not specifically. I'm on the road from John Bias actually. Where, where, where is, are you? Uh, I'm in the eastern. I'm in eastern North Carolina little city called washington and oh, he, nice. he stays in fayetteville and he stays about three and a half hours from me okay uh now i know you guys are used to smaller areas but that's not that far really yeah, that, that's like yeah, it's and an entire drive through my country is in three and a half hours oh well, you can't even get across my state in eight I, I was going to use this decal on the front of my uh, my cockpit canopy, but it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, center it. Maybe you can move the outside it, edge. It's sort of well off the size. Oh, if, well. if I go in the middle, it, it doesn't... If I go one edge... Oh, wow, yeah. The other edge ends up, yeah, quite a long way oh, away from... Center. You can't even... So <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to paint that. <laughs> 
Looks like your hair paint that one. Somebody break out the mascal and the matte black paint. We've got a situation. Is that yeah, one free gel hand. in this kit and it doesn't fit? <laughs> free hand it. Is it a Bandai kit? Yeah, no, right. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a I should, I should probably explain because 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 Jay's the one person in the boombox that doesn't know what's going on. Uh -oh. um, the one out of three thousand. Um, it, it's a group build on going called. It's the uh, twenty nineteen Mopal Macken Hot Kit Build. I can't say the actual name of it. Shot Kit Build. The idea is that you have a starter kit, which is a crappy kit that comes with glue, paints, and a crap brush. Oh, um, see, had I have known, I'd have gone to the pound shop. Ah, uh, you, you are in the boom hut. <laughs> 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 Going to the pound paint. shop might be overspending. Yeah. <laughs> the idea is you can use the comes with the kit. You can use uh, unlimited water and kitchen roll, a bowl, a cup, and a pair of scissors. And you okay. Can three household items of your choice that you have to be playing at the start and that's it that's all you can use wow you're not allowed proper modeling tools because it's supposed no. to be it's your seven year old like you're, you're a seven year old starting your first kit yeah and you have to nick half the stuff you need from the kitchen your <laughs> why do you think we're using this <laughs> yeah. mm. so that's why everybody and it's purely done so that i can sit and watch everybody suffer I've, I need my. I can get a year's worth of Schadenfreude in two or three streams like this. It's great. It's fantastic for me. I love it. Yeah. See, I don't. I don't even. Uh, oh no! I have got a Revel kit. Oh no! Actually, Fox, I've got a boat. I've got a bone to pick with you is over there. Starter kit though. Has it got paints and glues? Because you might have no. Uh, I can't. I don't even know what level it is. Uh, but I have a bone to pick with you about this one because um, it's a U boat. Is it the one seventy second scale of seven C? No, it's the 144 scale 7C. It's the Atlantic version. Oh, I don't know about that one. I built the 172nd. And it's yeah, I good. know. And I, I, I decided, I was like, Fox absolutely smashed that. Hmm. I reckon I could have a go at that. Bought it, pulled it out. No, it's a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a bit bigger than that. Um, uh, don't know about the 144. The 172nd was actually a decent kit. From yeah. The I, downwards. Everything uh, you know, I might actually. You know what? Sorry, I'm actually going to pull it out and show you just how well, we've got revelish no this is. Well, yeah, I'm I'm on my laptop. Uh, oh, there we go. Here's uh, here's one from my stash. There you go, Fox. Oh yes, get in. There's one there. Oh, that's my laptop. Uh, yeah, so it's this absolute monstrosity. <laughs> That's the same. I'm sure that's the same artwork they used on the 7C 172nd scale. Yeah, it's the same box. It's just a different scale. Um, I'm going to guess that's about a foot and a half long if it's half the size of the 172nd. Uh, I'll show you. I just need. Where yeah, the oh, yeah, I have opened it. The 172nd scale one was actually. The hull was fantastic. The tower was fantastic, but anything that wasn't the hull the deck or the tower structure like everything that was an added bit like the gun the deck gun and the other bits and bob were like just oh the deck gun in this is going to be a nightmare uh but yeah that's the that's about that's, tiny. that's one yeah that's one side of the deck so. <laughs> yeah i've got torpedoes bigger than that <laughs> Steady. I pray that that's. Yeah, uh, why, why do I get the impression Ted was leaning on the bar with the pipe in his hand when he said that? I've got obviously <laughs> <that pipe. laughs> Somebody just dropped out. Who fell out? Uh, Tom, I think, fell out. I'm still here. Oh, you're not. It's all gone quiet. Well, the data was in. Tom's just fallen out, so if anybody's trying to get in, quick, press the link now. Get in quick. Get in quick. Get in quick. Four, five, six, seven. There's eight of us, yeah. So there's one space free. If you if you're waiting to get in, if Tom's too slow, you snooze, you lose. If Tom's too slow, you can click the link faster. Get yourself in here. Because you know what? It's dog eat dog, it's mercenary. If you fall over, we leave you behind and you die in the snow. That's how it works. Oh, yeah. don't don't say the S word. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I would imagine that the, the one seventy. I would, I would actually recommend the one seventy second scale sub to people. Except I, 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 I would if <laughs> I would have if a I could afford it on my wage and b I had somewhere to actually put the thing when it was done. Yeah, because yeah. it is. I mean, I, I have seen one of them in the flesh built, and it it's a massive kit. Well, I, I don't mean Ted's one. <laughs> 
I mean, the one seventy oh, second. That... Is like, the one seventy second is about seventy quid, and it's three foot long. Yeah, I, I remember. Um, I remember seeing one that Ted built actually, and it was huge. Like in the box, it was hanging out of the boot of his car. Ted, over to you. Yeah, that's right. That's the one he's still building. Two years yeah. later, just about finished. Wow. Yeah, that's the one forty eight scale seven C, which is four and a half feet long. I think. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, fr- a friend of mine's actually got a. Um, I don't know if he's actually built it. Um, Hang on, I need to distract you for a second because Chris is doing something with last week's build. What are you doing, Chris? I, I'm going to take advantage of having some orange-ish paint. Oh, and, and and oh. count no. count from workman's vest. Because I, I didn't glue this down very well because it's rubbish. I'm hoping <laughs> I can open it up. <laughs> you didn't glue it down because it's the kit's fault because it's rubbish. Yep. Because you didn't glue it very well, therefore it's the kit's fault. Well, because I couldn't get rid of the nubs, so there's a big join line around the edge. So I can get my tool in and, and leave it open, I think. And he's trying to jam in his tool in and wiggling it about. There oh. you go. Yeah, oh, we're yeah, not actually doing it the continuation of the kit. This is like... The kit's already been finished. The kit's done, but I'm just going to... It's going to look even worse, I think, because it's not yeah. orange. I was thinking, thinking it was going to be a bit more orangey-red, but it's Does it not. mean you've finished your TIE Fighter? I, I might have finished the TIE Fighter, yeah. Already? Um, I'm, I'm going to do a sort of wash with it, but I'm going to let that dry properly first. So I thought I'd detour over to this and uh, see if I can paint them pink. So we're not... Going you, they're, going, they're, they're doing the, um, yeah, the pink version. Everybody's calling you a cheat, but we're not counting this as part of the bill. We're just counting this as it's... I'm not entirely certain what I'm cheating, because I'm not going to win anything. <laughs> but you're going beyond three colours, the three colours used. Or the I'm still using... It's yeah. still a Revel starter kit colour. You're going to win a bucket full of disgrace. <laughs> Shame. You know, I'm really actually tempted to, like, go onto Amazon now and just buy, like, the worst kit yeah. that I can find. The idea is... We only started last week, and we started this one. their kits to turn up. So what we're going to do this for another two or three weeks until Ted okay, comes, cool. basically. <clears throat> so um, we'll, we'll do one of these. I need to clear my throat. We're doing one of these each Saturday just for the next few weeks until, like I say, Ted finishes his, um, and because that'll take forever. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you, there's, there's, there's actually people who haven't started yet because they're still waiting for theirs to turn up. So go for it. Literally, any kind of rebel or airfix, or if you really want to make yourself a little airy starter kit, they're like five quid. As long as it's something that comes with, it's got to be a blue kit, and it's got to come with paint, glue, and a brush included. Ah, uh, okay. So, okay, so you can you can only use like what comes in the kit. Yeah, you can use whatever comes in the kit, which is paint, glue, and a brush. And if that's a tube of glue, even better because I can watch you suffer twice as much. Oh, you God. Use, you can use. Like I said, unlimited kitchen roll, unlimited water, one cup or glass, one bowl, and a pair of scissors. And okay. then uh, three items of your choice. Household items. They can't be model making tools. Household items. You have to think carefully because you've got to declare them at the start and you can't use anything else. So some people have chosen like nail clippers to do as sprue cutters and then realize. Ah, okay. Um, some people have chosen like, you know, nail files. It's got to be stuff you yeah. can the house, you say. Okay. Uh, and some, some starter kits are. Worse than others. I think Rebel do a tornado starter kit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think they probably look worse than they did before I started. They're not orange in any way, shape, or form. It's very, very pink. You know what? They look like they belong in the meat plane, in the meat broth. It's getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm also thinking they might be uh, expressing their sexuality out in their outward. <laughs> Uh, Mark in chat says, worst kit you can find, plenty of KH meet that criteria. Has to be a starter kit, though, a starter kit that comes with paint, glue, and a Because the paints are terrible, the glue's awful in a tube, usually. And the brush- oh, I've, found, I've just found one, an Airfix one, that comes with two brushes. <gasps> Ooh, that'll be allowed. If you get two brushes, you get two brushes. I, I got two brushes, but oh, they yeah. seem to together at the hilt. Uh, Zadster. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> says, Chris Zadster says of your pilots, kebab plane pilots. Yes, they're getting there. No, it's, it's actually quite nice and pink. It's a kebab speeder. It's very pink. <laughs> kebab speeder. Uh, Ted, <laughs> Ted says, take your time. Do what? Ted, uh, uh, Sprue Glue says, take your time, Ted. Yeah. You're taking the mickey out of, we're, we're going to do this until you finish yours for the next like, 12 weeks or something. <laughs> really? okay. yeah. Question. It, with, uh, with the starter kits, when you get the paints in the box, 
if I declare at the start that I'm using like a paper plate as like as a mixing palette, I, are you allowed to mix paint colours and get a bit fancy? You can only mix the colours that come with the kit. You can literally only <laughs> okay. So so say you, you, the say if you get like four or five different paints that come with the kit, can four you or mix five. them? Aiming high, I see. Yeah, definitely. You know, <laughs> like three and not guaranteed anything relevant. I've already found an Airfix kit that comes with six paints. So, yeah, there's, there's and you could like use a plate, but there's you're better off. Like, you could you could save yourself the effort and just use the box that it comes in. Mm. Palette, and then you've got an extra thing to play with. Yeah, because if you use a paper plate That's as your palette, true. one of your three declared items, you see. Ah, uh, right. So yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, you might find a 124 Spitfire that comes with paint, glue, and two brushes. But if you think you could paint a 124 Spitfire with two of these, <laughs> two, two, two brushes, and half a dozen of them, yeah. 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 You expect you six weeks to build it, and then you'd be like, I've got to paint this thing the size of a large cat with a brush the size of a. <laughs> Eyeliner pencil, ass. Right, I, I'm going to mix up a, a, a wash to do this panel lining thing in. What on the um, tire tour? I'm going to use the tray that the kit came in. Uh, I've got me dirty brush water. Filthy dirty brush water. There we go, and and some black paint. Obviously. That looks like someone died in there a while ago. That's tar black. Yeah, that You're going to get baby mosquitoes growing in that water. You, you might want to come back to me later. Right, I'm going to lock it on Chris because I need to go for a great big wee. And, I'm just uh, going to sit here waiting for paint to dribble out my pot. So it might be a while. Oh, there it goes. I'll, I'll leave the camera unlocked so people can... Uh, I'll turn my microphone off so people can watch other people. Right, I've got some paint in there and some dirty water already. So we'll... Uh... Well, my, my, my wash came out pretty nice, so... You should well, be all right. Definitely a wash. There you go. That's, that's, um, it's wash that's right. definitely a wash. Yeah, it's washy. Um, we'll see how it works. It's obviously not going to go over the back very well, so I'm just going to slap it on. What am I going to do, Ted? Slap it on. Thank you. <laughs> That's not working. Let's try that. That works. You don't even need brushes anymore. What do we need no brushes for? <laughs> you literally just dip in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I gotta watch this. If it works, it works. I guess. There you go. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. It's probably going to take it a week to dry, but you know. <laughs> uh, let's get the other side off. Let's get that off there. There we go. Hey, who said it didn't work? I said, no, Chris, you can't do that. You're an idiot. Who's an idiot? Me. I, I've got a new. I'm. I'm not painting me wash on. Oh, what have you done? He just dipped it. He just. <laughs> yeah, literally. He just. He just like got the the wing of the of the, of the tie fighter and just went. Ah, who needs I'm brushes? Working so well with them. With the round bit, I must admit. But. So have you basically just turned it into a first order TIE fighter now? Then? No, it's look. look the, the paint doesn't stick to the plastic when you're painting it on. <laughs> Are you not getting paint all over the clear bit and the canopy? And, and yeah, that? but no. If it, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't stick to the hole, it's not going to stick to that. <laughs> you're a bit new, but you're a bit new, but. <laughs> Pretty much. Go. Oh, three points for style. <laughs> Taking Ooh. me out because it's too warm to be wearing a hat. Uh, let's have a look. What are people saying in chat? Because I missed all of screaming at me for doing this, but you know, Dad's calling you a cheat. Who were Chris? Oswick cool. cool. uh, 9000 says Ravel's 172nd Gato is over four feet long. It's quite basic, but looks good. I don't like modern subs, they're just kind of really boring. They're just tubes. They're just tubes. No, sir. It's like, look at a U boat. U boat's got the shape and the holes and the tours. Oh, it's lovely. Right, well, oh, this yeah, is going to take like a fortnight for this to dry now. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> did you not glue it, Chris? I thought, sure, thought I did, but this glue might not be working either. It's all gone wrong. There we go. It's definitely glued now. 
Uh, Zans says, I wish I could have bought the interior stuff for the 170 second 7CU boat. I didn't even know there was an interior kit. There are some photo etch kits you can get for the out I've seen the um I've seen the etch kits uh that you can get. I think it's I think it's the website where you got the cloth flags for yours actually, Fox. Um is that is a, an Australian website called Amp dot rocket dot biz i think amp that's it yeah yeah that's it amp yeah amp dot r o k k e t dot b i z i'll put it in chat actually and yeah good, good little website actually that a lot of really cool um info on that i've put it in chat amp dot rocket it's giving me an error i mean i can't put it in my own, <laughs> it's my own chat what are you on about amp dot rocket I'll, I'll type the word dot in then okay <laughs> dot rocket dot is I should be able to put links in my own chat. I own the chat, it's my chat. Um, yeah, it's a really good website. They've got photo etch sets specifically for the 172nd U boat, and I think the 144th that you've got. But they also have, if you go into the book section, uh, there's a book, it's a PDF on there, and it's called something interesting, probably. Um, but it's a PDF, and it will tell you every single thing you need to know about how how U boats were painted, uh, what they look like, what materials you use, and also how they weathered. And it will be lots of sourced photographs. If you want, if you want to do a super realistic U boat, go to that website and look up the books in the download section. It's a PDF file. It's something like Sea Wolves, or something. I can't remember what it's called. But it's invite. I Ted used it, and I've used it, and it's just an incredible resource for all the information about how they looked, what they were painted with, specific colours. Um, you know, what colour was the laughing fish on U ninety six? That's just some controversy. You know, what were still a lot of debate on that one, apparently. You know, blue, green, or black. If you buy the yeah. from them for the for the U boat, it comes in three colours: blue, green, and black. Because nobody knows for sure. Uh, in the mo in the movie, black, apparently, it's black. A lot of people think it's black. Well, the green and black seem to be the most common colours because you'd never know because it's black and white photographs. So, mm. so that, I think the one on the uh, the one on the actual prop of the Colin Tower from that was actually in the movie. I'm pretty sure that was black. Yeah, but the the real one. No, it might be green actually. <laughs> the two most common are it was black or it was green, but they're from people's memories. So. So uh, that's why it's not but, sure. Some people yeah, know. it's not very accurate because apparently the Kriegsmarine drank a lot. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah, right, how's everybody doing? Let's have a look and see what we got. Chris, how are you doing with yours? How's I'm that finished. Clear? You're finished. You I'm finished now. I've done two now. There, there you go. That's the two that I've done. You did almost no painting on that tie fighter. Almost no. Well, there's paint <laughs> on the inside that you can't see. You're not painted the frame. And I painted it. It was fine. It's done. Have you painted the frame on the window? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the thing, right? Yeah. You can see. But you check. You hang about. Okay. Fine. It's hard to tell. Well, I'll can... zoom in for you if you if it will help. No, no, I'll take your word for it. I believe you. Millions wouldn't. Here we go. He's doing... You could just pick up the model. It'd be a lot easier. Uh, <laughs> It'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? So okay, you, I'll let you off. You, you can see the dodgy bits of paint around the edge. Excellent. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, no, how are you getting on with your with your sailing boat, young fella? <laughs> it's going great. Um, well, at least I'm trying to glue it together, but it's not working correctly. Have you got glue in a tube or from the Ravel contactor thing? No, no, no. It's in a tube. Oh, yeah, hello, tube. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm loads from it, and My all the plastic is melting and paint. So, yeah. Handy tip, because you're far too young to remember this, but we often found that playing it with a pin was a good idea. But, of course, <laughs> you would have had to specify a pin in your three items. Yeah. Oh. I got some rope as third item, so... Ah, okay. We also, you, used to, we also used to put the pin in the tube of glue to seal it later on when you wanted to go hard over You that. could use a piece oh, of screw. I've done that. That's true. But then you glue the sprue to the end of the tube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Detail. Oh my okay, Fox. I may have found like one of the the smallest yet like ridiculous kits ever. It's an airfix one. It's 170 uh, 176 scale. Mm -hmm. It's king it's a king tiger. You get a small tube of Humbrol cement. Oh, 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 get in. Right. No, it, it gets not, it gets better. It gets not, better. It's not guaranteed to be a liquid, by the way. You do realize that. 
yeah, I, I know. <laughs> you get a, you get a tube of Humbrol cement. You get one brush only, which looks like a Citadel fine detail brush. Yeah, but not not even as good as that. No, 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 it's when they are as good as free beginner paintbrush to give out. It's not good. Yeah, exactly. Um, bear in mind it's the King Tiger. Just picture that in your head for a sec. You get four paints. Yeah. The paints that you get is red, black, and two pots of white. <laughs> uh, can, can I point out that that isn't actually accurate? Um, <laughs> yeah, because Paul was going to do the, cha- the Churchill, and that came with a red paint, but doesn't it? As it comes with greens. So. Um, I, I can actually shall I move my completed build off to one side. Uh, on. I shall reveal the kit that I shall be building next week. Okay, the camera's not locking on people again. Ah, right. The, the uh, kit that I shall be building next week. <laughs> that's it um, is, is the, <laughs> the king tiger <laughs> that's it that's the one that i just found um yes yeah. it, it comes with four paints and one dodgy brush and a tube of probably solid glue but I'm yeah really- there's definitely sort of a black a green a sort of gray brownie and a sort of reddy brown well, um, hang on a minute. Them yeah. paints are different to the one that the, I found. The pictures do not bear any resemblance to the actual kit that you get, I think. Uh, Paul read another uh, FX kit that he started deal- building that pictured reds and blues and things and didn't have a minute. So, yeah. Hmm. It, it's not quite as bad as it looks, but it's quite bad. But, uh, yes, this this is what I shall be building next week. As soon as I finish two, two in one uh, week, I'm sure I'll do this in one week. You'll have to see the tracks on that. Well, you we have to wait till next week. I'm not opening the box till next week, so. So you're, you're on your third kit. I will be. I'm not doing it now, though. I'm not starting yet. No, I'm, on, I'm still on the first. Yeah. Well, so is TK. Yeah. And Fox hasn't even started. <laughs> Fox well, is just well, watching everybody stuff up. So. Yeah, so uh, my name. that's the same preview of what I'll be doing next week. <clears throat> uh, let's have a look and see what chat is doing. Uh, I found out that when it won't, when this the camera locks on me all the time, it's because my microphone is giving some feedback to the audio and it thinks I'm making noise when I'm not. So I yeah. should be working again now because I refreshed. Should we do some talking and see if it changes? It worked. But it just did it then. <laughs> um, Sprueglu says Fox has ten pre-made bottles because he cheats. I did not cheat. <laughs> <laughs> there were no there were no pre-decided starting conditions for the e models Christmas build. Uh, I really, I really knew that I'm such a slow painter when it comes to brush painting. <laughs> but in four hours, I would not completely build and paint and everything a whole little chibi tack. So I pre-built it, and you could have done the same. Zester's got a good idea. He said we should take them all to Telford. Yeah, and, but um, I, I painted my chibi tank twice. Yeah, but you were, you guys were all using airbrushes. You're like, it's green. What? Done. Whereas yeah. I'm like, la, 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 It takes time to brush paint. I can't, I'm not just like some hose pipe blapping paint on it. I, it's green. Done. Hold <laughs> there. You guys, I wasn't cheating. You guys were slackers. You were using technology. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the old hairy stick, a proper manual technique. So what you're really saying is you trained for this build, but you didn't participate? Possibly. <laughs> uh, we have someone new, apparently. <laughs> Bory Model says there's a new person that's joined. Who have I missed? Uh, we've got Stig, we've got Pascal, we've got Jay. Did I miss someone? I don't know. I can't see my computer screen from here. FX would pay you not to show their model, says Adster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me refresh it. I'm not seeing a newbie. Hang on. Uh, if if Bory Models has seen a new person join, then tell us who it is. <laughs> if uh, you are I a new person, I didn't see joined, anybody come in. Actually, I didn't if, see anyone. Come in. If you are uh, a new you... person that's joined, apart from Fox, tell us who you are. Yeah, because I'm seeing Chris, Jay, Pascal, Ted, Spid, Stig, TK, and me. I'm not seeing anyone else, but people are saying there's a new person in the stream. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there should be. There's room for one. If you're in the stream, none of us can see you. <laughs> can you put in chat who you are, where you are, and when did you last see your father? That kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> mother's yeah. maiden name. Yeah. Favorite pet. Yes. School. Oh no, he says no. Sorry, <laughs> Stig changed his camera angle. Yes, yeah. So we have the same <laughs> Stig, but in a different view. You're causing people problems. <laughs> 
Borry models need to work on your pattern recognition. <laughs> How's your little X Wing coming along, Steve? Well, it's done. I've given up with these little um, decal covering me nuts, so that's it, pretty much. Cool. You have to make the noises now. You've got to, you've got to fly it and make noises. It's required. There you go. Wait, sorry, sorry, what, what, hang on, what was that X Wing noise again? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've got to do the flying noise and you've got to do extending the S foils noise. <laughs> yes, I don't think done. the S foils can move. Oh, you can get away without that one. Meant that though. You're going to put some pickies up in the boom hut. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. <clears throat> Kick ass. It's all right. Uh, oh, Jamie we... Brown says uh, about your tank, Chris. The paint. Yep. For... Have you read that one already? Uh, I didn't read it out loud, but. Okay, uh, about Jamie's uh, big tank, he says, Chris, the paints are for the three tone camouflage, 93 desert yellow, 117 US light green, and 164 red brown. What's the four? I've got four colours, though. Uh, the other one is uh, to, for happiness and imagination time. Ah, good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that woman that clears your house out and the, the, the one in America at the minute? Uh, I want to say 93, 117, 164. Happiness that, diamond. That, that's, that's not what it says on the bottom here. Look, oh, no, can you, I can't move. How's that? There you go. Look, I've got some numbers down here. I've got 33, 86, 94, and 160. House! Two fat ladies, 73. <laughs> kebab so, on the floor, 23. <laughs> mm, kebab. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, fat, in terms of starter kits, Fox, we might have a winner. <laughs> oh, Sprue Glue says the fourth pot's full of Marmite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Steve, Steve what, flavor you, uh, you, what flavor are you uh, chewing on there? Say again. What flavor were you chewing on then? A little vaping going on in the corner there. We see it. Oh, that. It's yeah. uh, blackcurrant. Oh, I'm probably like kebab or something, aren't they? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Do they do marmite? Marmite flavor. I, got I actually got maple syrup from It was horrendous. <laughs> Because yeah. the only thing that tastes good as maple syrup is maple syrup. It is, yeah. This is true. Mm. Go on, Jay. What were you going to say about your your um, shot kit? Yeah, I think we might have a winner. Go on. Uh, it, it is an airfix kit. That's a good start. I mean, I mean, good. Yeah. I mean, terrible. Obviously, every time we say good, we mean the worst thing you can possibly imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, the thing I'm I'm deliberately going for for bad. See what um, I'll do. What I'll do here. Hang on. Let me let me find a bit of card. I've got a bit of card. Let me. You're going to write down like a little judge score on this, and then yeah. hold it. Over Tell, me head. Tell me what I'm going to do. <laughs> Why am I worried at this point? It's Fox's famous swingometer. Yeah. Ah. I've got a, a, a Schadenfreude meter. A, a what? It goes, from, it goes from ass. Through Ravel to Airfix. <laughs> so it starts. It starts at a normal average day. What What happens when you get past Airfix? Is that when it goes nuclear? Uh, it, it only goes that far. It only goes to eleven. It goes back to Ravel. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Now these don't mean it's a Ravel kit. This is just on the scale. This is like the, the this is like the, the earthquake scale, but for badness of kits. Okay. Cool. All right. So the hand um, down here somewhere. So it, you said it's Airfix. So we're kind of. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> okay, so it's Airfix. It's one thirty second scale. Uh, uh, it's not so bad, that's quite big, so you're all right. Okay. Uh you get uh two brushes. Oh. One's minute. One's <laughs> minute. No, the, it helps. <laughs> the other one is minute but slightly longer. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I can see it moving up, and, and I can hear the fart coming in ever so slowly. Uh, you get uh, the uh, the Humbrol poly cement. Got the tube? Wait, is it the tube or something else? It, it's the yellow tube. Yeah. I can't put my finger that far back. Yeah, right the way up. Uh, there are six. There are six paints in it, so we are getting spoiled a little bit. Uh, yeah, but hang on. What you have to tell us what it is, and then tell us what the colours are. Don't tell us the colours yet. Uh, okay, it, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, you want to make a shiny car with two shit, uh, two terrible brushes? 
we're, we're, we're too scheiße Burschen gefahren. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. The, well, according to the picture, we've already established that the colours on the pictures are not what come with the kits. Yeah. But according to the picture, we have red. Yeah. We have green, kind of a goblin green, yes. which makes no friggin' sense because on the box this car's blue. And then you have white, which is going to be thin as hell. Then you have black. Then you have blue. And then another white. So you know what that means is basically they've given it's you the color an color if you want to paint it green, red, blue, or white. And then everything else you're on your own. Yeah, yeah pr pretty much. Yeah. But then again, you see, you've got your primary colours there, so you can mix anything you want. I, I think we'll find that Felice says that's the one he's building. Oh, really? The one thirty-second scale one. I thought I didn't think. I thought that one only came with like four paints. I don't know. Uh, maybe, the, maybe we found the the deluxe version. <laughs> <laughs> model says clip for you, Jay, mix the paint oh, before you use them. Uh, those are not the colours, Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felice has yeah. said the colours that he got with his. It's silver, black, tan brown, gloss red, blue, and orange. Okay, so your entire choice is paint it gloss red, you monster. <laughs> you could probably I, paint I, it silver. I, I, oh, God, I don't know about that. Uh, and to make Bory models feel better, Dad also, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Dad also thought that um, when Steve changed his camera angle, it was a new person joining the thread. So, two of you being special. You're not alone. I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I like it when people cause confusion. We still haven't put that Roman helmet on. Yeah, just uh, stop press there. That I have found that the wheels in the meshes bit are, have a flat on the bottom. Again. Okay. So, wow. So it's a budget kit, but they give you flattened wheels. That's kind of Flat kind of wheels. interesting. Yeah. Not that a disc scale you can notice them, but they are there. Interesting, you get that. Uh, Bori says that the red and orange are for the indicators. And orange. Oh, stop light, I mean, he says. You get two paints purely for the lights. Yep. Cool. And I needed orange. They didn't give me any orange at all. <laughs> the one colour you want that everybody else got and you didn't. Uh, just remind everybody, this is a live stream that you can join in. Uh, it's half past ten, so we've got another hour and a half to go, or, even, or an hour, or whatever we need to do. Um, we're still open for people joining. There's eight of us, so there's one slot free. Um, so if you want to come and join us, you need to be a Boom Hut member. We'll just go along to the Boom Hut, which is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model Boom Hut. Uh, go along, and there's an announcement post at the top of the page, which has the link to join this stream there's also it's a post on the page as well if you scroll down a bit but there is a link to join this hangout all you need is a webcam and a microphone or a webcam with a microphone uh, and a decent broadband connection so you're not going like this because oh, ah, that's just can't talk to you about that so come and join us there's a space left if you can't, if there are nine people and you can't get in keep the link handy because we'll just look we'll just throw someone out the airlock every now and then. <laughs> you get to nine people Oh, if anyone, if anyone got any suggestions for kits that are just like complete and utter ass, put them in the chat. <laughs> yeah, do 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 keep in mind that when Jay says if you've got a suggestion, he means make him suffer. This one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you should you should listen to TK because TK never chooses the best kit. He always chooses the nightmare kit. I've never seen TK make a kit he actually enjoyed build. <laughs> Hold on. I hope CK do some nice stuff. Yeah, but you, you don't you don't see the conversations like you're on the trials where he's going, God, I hate this kit. God, I hate this kit. Oh, the, the behind the scenes parts, yeah. you mean? The bit where he's not going, this kit. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I did build that Bandai Transformer thing. Yeah, that was acceptable. You might didn't mind that one. <laughs> that was acceptable. And then it went downhill from there, really. Yeah. <laughs> Phil says he painted the whole thing orange just for me. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you didn't see what I'm building on Sundays. My uh, two rocks. Nice. Um, <laughs> and, and I, 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 I have some orange paint. I have to say, Chris, I'm getting the kind of 1980s shell suit sporting equipment. I did us vibe from it. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it needs it needs like diagonal white stripes of more than two. Yeah, I don't know about the stripes. I've got to do the the metallic stuff, obviously. So. Yeah, it looks nice. But, uh, yeah. If it's got, if it's got a white stripe. Your... 
Chavrox, won't it? Chavrox. Chavrox. <laughs> Chavrox. Yeah. In it, you know what I mean? In it. Word. Hey. There's an idea. If you've got any little guys that have stood up out of it, you could put a little backwards baseball cap on one of them, a Burberry one. Well, I, I, I was thinking about taking one of the trucks off and just having it up on bricks. Yeah. And then, and then all you got to do is put a Nissan logo on the front and you're well set. Yeah. Just get a photograph of where Dad lives, put of, of his street, and then that will make you look perfect. Wow, I'll start that again. <laughs> yeah. Get a photograph of the street where Dad lives in Liverpool land, put that as the backdrop. It'll be perfect. Car on block. Hey, I like Liverpool. I've been to Liverpool a couple of times. I love it up there. Have you driven to Liverpool? I've been in an armoured bus. <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> when, when, yeah. I say, when I say armoured bus, I mean coach. <laughs> yeah, you still had the wheels when you left, yeah? Yeah, they probably slowed down. They didn't stop. Yeah, we didn't We didn't go anywhere near Toxter, so... Dad says, oi, oi, oi! <laughs> uh, to my, I, I, one of my friends... I have to tell this story. I won't mention names, because nobody knows who he is, but one of my friends, many, many years ago, my best mate, he went to university, uh, and he, he got, he got um, some digs. And he says to me, yeah, the digs, they're dirt cheap. Dirt, dirt. He was in Liverpool University. It's dirt, dirt cheap. It's cost me like, you know, 5p a month or something. Okay. Like, oh, where are they? Where are they? With Toxteth. Oh, no. And I'm like, I'm kind of figuring out why it costs you like 5p a month to get digs then. Okay. It, it could, like, I can't believe how cheap they are. I'm thinking, no, I can get it. I get it. <laughs> it's because <laughs> not, nobody lives there now. <laughs> no, Dad's like, no, it's getting out of hand. Harry, calm down, calm down. Hey, can I <laughs> one, mate? We love you, Dad, really. You know we do. Uh, Zazda, oh. uh, uh, sorry, Paul Di Tommaso. Sorry, Zazda. Zazda says he has the Revell 124th Volkswagen Golf kit, but it's way too good for this. Uh, most kits are way too good for this. Paul Di Tommaso, oh, give you some suggestions. Kits yeah. are actually really good. Huh? He's gone into the House of Horrors and he's doing a bit of Blair Witch stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say snot. I don't want to say snot, Jay. It's not acceptable. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put a beanie hat on in a minute and go outside and start, you know, not bubbling and crying and nose dribble. Apologising to my parents for something that I haven't done and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, Paul Di Tommaso says you should either get the Airfix Triumph Herald, oh god, or the Airfix Generator. I've actually, the thing is, I've actually worked on a real one of those. Yeah, don't imagine this anything like reality. No, it was probably enjoyable, though. It was really, really cool to work on that, actually. Uh, Phil East says, stick the blue parts of Liverpool and you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Dad? And Dad says, I dip into Toxteth to do work, but I had to be out before midday. <laughs> before everybody wakes up. Yeah, many, many years ago, I used to work for a cable company. Um, uh, well, I, I, was gonna, I, I was about to not say who they were, but it was a company called Ninex. They're not around anymore in the UK, but a company called Ninex. Right. This is going back to the late 90s. Uh, and one of the areas we used to serve was a part of Salford in Manchester. Okay. Uh, it was the Salford 6 area, Salford 6 postcode. Oh, um, yeah. Basically, they would refuse to install cable anywhere in Salford 6. Because really? they, would, they would park up in a van that said 9X all over it and had lots of adverts for cable TV. But the van would get stoned because they'd think they were undercover police. Oh, even though it said 9x all over it and they were installing cable <laughs> <laughs> they were like yeah and they wouldn't and even if they did go for an install they wouldn't go after 1 p.m wow dad said lol salford yeah salford six salford's quite nice salford six at the time 20 years ago yeah you wouldn't want to be you wouldn't even want to drive past salford six hardcore hardcore Oh, Fox, have you, seen, have you seen this awesome thing that's kind of a kettle, but it's not? Uh, hang on. Does it make coffee? But no, it's, it's instant hot water. So it's a tea's made? It, it's kind of genius, to be fair. All you do, you just go... You just turn it on and wait a minute. That's not instant, then. No, <laughs> yes, this is I've, got, I've got a kettle that does that. Yeah, I mean, I'd be all right if it actually filtered it as well, but no, that was the next model up, apparently. The irony is, you know, you buy those things. The irony is, if you go to like somewhere like Costco and buy a kind of industrial water boiler that you get in an office building, 
it costs you like 30 quid and they hold like 2,000 litres of water and they keep it hot for like months. And then you can sit there and you can you can genuinely stand in front of me going, Kiwi, Mr. Shifter, would you like a teaser? Like a tea lady. Uh, would you so like you a tea tea no, go on. Dad says one of our security guards has his patrol dog shot with a crossbow in Salford. That was the classy part of Salford. Crossbow. Yes, if they've got a crossbow, that's the educated part of Salford. Six. That's where they've got the smart ones. Because it's quite a they know how to reload the thing. <laughs> no, you can tell you can tell it was someone with brains in Salford Six because they used a crossbow, which is quiet. Uh, is, my, my brain never even went there. But, you, can't, yeah. you, can't hear the, you can't hear a crossbow over your Vauxhall Nova stereo at full blast. Vauxhall. Uh, Dave Weisrunga Barker says, Dad, did you do, don't you do? And Dad <laughs> says, Oh, what do you do, 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 do? What do you do, do, face, do? I don't know. <laughs> Spruidry tells you to turn it on at the wall, Jay. It is, it is turned on at the wall. Now, if you pressed a button on that and it just made delicious coffee, then it'd be much better. Yeah. I don't, I don't mean some of this coffee yeah. pod nonsense. I mean, like, you know. It just no, I do, have one. I do have one of those as well. It's just in the cupboard at the moment. Yeah. I want a machine that just takes particles of matter from the air and just turns it into coffee. I want, I want one that turns it into pot noodle. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Green pot noodle, of course. Well, yeah, but pr pretty oh, much takes, takes it from pot noodle to fox noodle. <sighs> oh, yeah, with the butter and the balls of bread. The balls of oh, happiness. Yes, bowl eye yeah. of happiness. Yes. Make you a little bowl eye. I want pot noodle. To, to be fair, like the, the, watching that video was probably... like I, Was it life-changing? I, I oh, imagine... Man. I imagine this is like watching that. I imagine how, um, like this, you know, like something biblical happening and everyone going, Ooh. I, I would kind of hope that that would be my most watched video, but it's not. I wanted that one to be the one that became viral and made me a fortune, but it didn't. I'll, I'll fall asleep tonight and just stick it on loop. Well, I like to think that, you know, all across the country over the years, students have watched that and discovered how to save more money for beer than spending it on food because they can live on pot noodles and bread for that. I've actually year. promoted the hell out of that video. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a better recipe now. If you're not eating pot noodles, and I mentioned this last week, I think, oh. if you've not got pot noodles, but you've got ramen, and I mean proper like Japanese or Korean ramen, the big pots. Yeah, yeah. If you want proper happiness, what you do is you get two of the big pots that are like they're like a soup bowl size. Yeah. You you uh, put all the ramen, the noodles into a bowl. Right. Get all the sachets, and what you do is if it's got like powdery vegetables, you put that in. If it's got the Korean death sauce, which is usually black and tasty, <laughs> <like, laughs> the death sauce. Don't put that in. <laughs> but any other okay. sauces that aren't spicy, you put those in. And then what you do is you get uh, one spoonful of Bisto onion gravy, the powder. I like where this is going already. One spoonful of Bisto chicken gravy powder. Like it. Spoonful, I mean, big spoonful. One big spoonful of Bisto chip shop curry powder. You put that on the noodles and then you pour in the boiling water. And you right. Let it, let it sit for like five minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. And then what you do is when it you, you put it on your, in front of you where you're going to eat and you leave it for five minutes. Okay. It works properly and it's a nice ceramic bowl. It'll cool down enough that it will just become this massive brick of noodles. And when, you lift it, when you jam some chopsticks in and pull it, you'll get this big bowl shaped block of noodles. And it's oh, like wow. a giant noodle lollipop. But yeah, oh, it's great. Right, trying it. It's the stodgiest thing ever. It really is. All hail the stodge. Yep, Lord Barkley says it sounds like army food all chucked in a pot. But it needs to be onion gravy, chicken gravy, yep. and the important one chip shop curry gravy only bisto make that in powder form Possibly i've never actually seen that on the shelves anywhere the chip yeah, shop yeah, yeah it's hard to find if you get online but yeah mm -hmm. nicest uh right how's everybody getting on chris has gone to sleep i've still finished yay <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here quietly i'm thinking about going actually and making room for somebody else if they want to come in but 
you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight of us. I think there's room, but I don't think there's anybody trying to get. I'll just make sure. Tina's nobody... unfinished, you know. I'll just quickly visit the boom hut and make sure that nobody trying to get in. Uh, let me have a look. Actually, I've got to disappear briefly anyway, so see you in a moment. He's pooping. Yeah, just He's pooping. Just He's pooping. Turn your microphone off. I hear that. There was nobody waiting to There's no people asked to Matt join, so there we go. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Pascal, how are you getting on with your with your boat of hell? Still gluing everything. <laughs> oh, joys of tube glue. Yeah, it's a little mess, but you're blooming I'm loving this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this, mate. This is the best. <laughs> Because especially especially with like some of the younger builders you know people like people like pascal who you know i'm guessing pascal your experience of model making doesn't include tubes and glue no it don't yeah it's, it's these these people like pascal who are doing this for the first ever time and that when we started making models all we had were tubes of glue and that was it yeah i, st I started yeah. on um when i was around eight or something and then we had and then we had uh, this kind of glue, just sort of else started. Yeah. Around. Tubes of glue, crappy brushes, and uh, enamel paints. <laughs> when I, yeah. I, start, I started modeling when I was about six or seven years old, and then I stopped when I was about 22, 23 for about 20 years. So when I finished doing models for that first time, I'd gone from tubes of glue, which were just snot and hell, to by the end of it, I was using like Humbrol liquid poly, which was the best I could get at the time. Actually, when I came back to the hobby and it was like Tamir extra thin, I'm like, wow, this is brilliant. See, I, like when when I actually found you on YouTube, I was like, oh, okay, models. And then I was like, oh, a Brit. And then it was it was like, oh yeah, if you want some really good glue, get this Tamir extra thin cement. And I was like, hmm, different. Bought it. Never used anything else. Yeah, you can't go wrong. I'll go wrong. I still have the first glue I, I, I that came with my first kit. Wow, look at that! Wow, that's like finding an old army ration box from World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> I also yeah. saw the paint I used first. Because my, my dad did, did also make models, and he had some oh, wow. more decent glue, so I I had to uh, uh, save this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Patrick was just showing his first ever paints as well, which were which were Ravel enamels. Yeah, I still oh, have a lot of them. Oh, I've got loads of them. I've, I've, I've got, 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 got a lot of them. Of them. I, uh, of paints as well. When I, when I first moved up to Scotland, I'd got a box with um, all the model model stuff, which I shoved in a cupboard when I'd not modelled for ages. And moved up to Scotland, all got thrown in a box, and then I decided to start building again. And I dug it all out, and in among all the tins of hum, tinlets of humbrol enamel and everything, was one of the old Brit Fix 77 tubes. And you used to get a tube and a ball headed pin, like a dressmaker's pin. And you used the pin to pierce the top, and you'd use the pin to seal the tube. Yeah. You didn't get a, a screw on lid with it. Close it. And it. It literally just came with a, a dressmaker's pin and a tube of glue. Yep. And I was like, wow, nostalgia. And I thought, I'm going to stick that on eBay just to see what happens. And somebody bought it for like six or seven quid. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, really? I, I expected people to just go, oh, look at that. I remember them. But nobody to actually bid on it. I stuck it on for like 99p. And I'm sure it went for well. something like six or seven quid. How yeah, but the, 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 thing, the scary thing about that, though, like it went for six or seven quid. You know that that tube of glue started a small bidding war. Yeah, but you know what's even sadder is it's probably somebody thought they were buying some Brit Vic 66 or something. And not oh, no. They were buying a drink, not a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I reckon it must have been. It's got to have been somebody who was collecting. Who bought yeah, it. yeah, easily. Like an old Airfix box or an old Matchbox kit box or something. Because nobody in the right mind is going to buy it to actually use. No. It was, you, it was never, you never know. It's no different to any squeezy tube. Styrene cement. It's easy yeah, because of the pin, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Pascal, uh, dad, uh, dad says to Pascal, it's looking good, your ship. <laughs> Looks good, dude. Dad likes it. Have you put any gold on it yet? No, not yet. Just We're all waiting for that. Uh, build it all, sure the gold will the details. 
Yeah, yeah, broke, broke off the thing. Oh, well, it's still drying the back. Have yeah, you got some damage, TK? Cold. Yeah. What did you break? Some kind of tube thing. So <laughs> I got a little bit of sprue and trying to fix it. Blobbed it up. <laughs> Stop. Uh, it's going to meet with a chainsaw anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to meet It's going to meet with the dog. Hmm. Dog, eat this! Wait, wait, wait. hold on, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so it's for age 10 and up. Well, my dog's 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's not in dog years either. No. No, in, 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 I think... She's about 70 in human years, so... Yeah. She could do this. She's about 70 in human years, but about three in a brain. <laughs> I, uh, just I don't dope. know. But my, my paintbrushy white came out better than their... Excellent. Look at my model thing. Box art. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the, thing I've learned, the thing I've learned over the years... Is that, and I've said this before, when I was a kid, I used to drool over the models in the Tamir catalogs because they were like, wow, I'll never be that good. And yet now I'm an old man. I look at the photographs in, of Tamir models made by Tamir and I'm like, wow, that's pretty bad. That's <coughs> that's the, model. The, difference I, I Ravel, the difference with Ravel is Ravel's models always look terrible. Does it does it come out on camera, this, this triangle here? Uh, it's out of shot, but... Hey. Um, yeah, it's out of shot. Still out of shot. Um, tri triangle. Now this is where the bombs are, and this is the bomb bay, and they the just bay thing. barely <laughs> even <laughs> painted it white. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, the, wow. thing, the thing with Ravel is that Ravel, the models on Ravel's boxes always look like they've been painted by someone who was asleep when they did it. Five-year-old. <laughs> Whoever Ravel employed <laughs> to paint their models is terrible. It's just like, I've never seen a Ravel kit yet on a box that looked like it wasn't painted by yeah. a five-year-old. I, I have a suspicion that Ravel as a company are not like other companies that get people interest, who are interested in the kits to build them. I reckon it's just like, um, oh, we've got a new release this week. Who's going to do that? Oh, I'll just give it to the YTS lad. No, they, they, actually, they actually contract it out to third parties to paint them for them. But they do, right? I, I, I know some of them, not personally, but I know some of them. But um, and without fail, they're all terrible. <laughs> I've never yet. I've seen I've seen like websites and Facebook pages of people say I, I paint models for Ravel and other things, and you look at it and think, Jesus God, what? A, 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 <laughs> Wait, hold on, did it, did you get paid for that? This Plasmo dude got sponsored by Ravel? Well, we're not going to name anybody. <laughs> Thank you. We're not going to name anybody, TK. Thank you. <laughs> but he's really good. Can, can confirm, have never painted nor worked for Ravel, like, ever. And that's my right hand, so you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, left hand, you're in doubt, but, you know. But I, 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 this is one of my assumptions, because I know a few people who have done work for Ravel, and they're, they're terrible. Uh, and mm. I've never yet seen a good, painted, a well-painted model on a Ravel box, ever. I've just, just never. But, yeah. Are they are they restricted to what they can use? Do they have to use Ravel products and stuff? I don't yeah. know. I, I, I probably, probably, they probably want them to use Ravel products. I'm just curious because I've I've built some Ravel kits where you look at the box art and you think it's it's not well to well painted, and um, it tends to be things like uh, the chrome bits. They just use sort of bog standard silver paint that's a bit pants looking. Yeah. Um, yeah, and things like that. So you think, well, are they actually? Do they are they told you can only use Ravel paints and just Ravel paints? I, I, I don't think Ravel would actually really care. They just say we're going to pay you very cheaply. Can you just build some crap and paint yeah. it? And I don't care. I'm just putting that in screen. I'm not going to say anything. But... You don't need to. <laughs> however, however, I do have to point out that um, somebody else was making one of those kits with the swing wings. Uh, as one of these st as a starter kit for this group build, and they put a kit, they put a comment up saying, "This is the kit I'm going to build, and here's the tools I'm going to use." Ten minutes later, they said, "Yeah, the swing wing thing's already broken." <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. to go, yeah. There uh, are you. Sprue glue addict asks question: Do Ravel make any good kits? They yeah, do. They do. They do. Yeah. Cars. Yep. Cars. Um, they, they, they did in the. I haven't seen many of the. 
um, the more up to date stuff. But probably about ten years ago, their standard <laughs> wasn't too bad. Yeah, they they the, their mainstay is curbside car kits, um, and they do do some good car kits. They do. I mean, mm. like the U-boat I made the big one. Some that was a really nice kit. Apart from the details that went on the hull, the hull was great. They, they they do do some good. It was, it was that good that after you finished it, you said, "If anyone commissions me to build one of these, I will shoot you." <laughs> no, I did. I did build one, then I built another one, and then I realised my first one was terrible, so I snapped it in half. Um, but I remember you saying that in the video. You actually killed the first one. Yeah, because it was so bad. That was me painting. Yeah. It. But no, Ravel do do good kits, but unfortunately, their ratio is like for every kit they do that is actually quite good. They've released ten absolutely dire pieces of crap with flash and bad moulding and no attention to detail. Nothing fits. So, yeah, I was I was having a discussion with a, a buddy of mine uh, at work who does a lot of uh, scale model stuff, um, and he actually just finished one. I, I, I can't remember where he got it from. It might have been like a bespoke thing, but it was actually like a vacuum formed plastic model. Um, and it was a, 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 I believe it was a German half track that he did. And when it was done, it looked absolutely fantastic. Um, but he said it was one of the worst kits that he's ever built. Like, cause it was just such a pain in the backside to try and get everything to line up. Yeah. Vac form kits are a, a skilling themselves to build. Yeah. Yeah. Vac form kits are like small garage manufacturers and stuff and off yeah. boats and things. The, yeah. Uh, Make some uh, nice models out of them, but uh, they are—they're uh, they're not like uh, find the number on the sprue and, and make it. It's—it's it's a completely different skill. It's almost like here's a big block of the plastic. Carve the piece out of it. Thanks. Yeah, that, that's that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave, and, Dave and Colin in chat have said yes. The Ed Force one is quite a good kit. The Ravel kit—they do do some good kits, but unfortunately, like I said, it's just the ratio of crap to good is. Unacceptable. Especially Edward, like, isn't, um, isn't that Iron Maiden's tall plane? Yes, that's quite a good kit. Apparently. Dave and Colin. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's like when you've got manufacturers like like Bandai, Dragon, Tacom, and Meng, and other <coughs> fantastic kits, and then yeah. the one with their crappy, badly fitting, badly molded, covered in flash, everything's wrong, raised panel lines, crap. And people get upset when people, you know, when I say I hate Revel because their their kits are rubbish, and people get really steamy about that. And it's like, well, they are. Aside from yeah. you know, some things, most of the stuff they make is terrible. When you say some of those, uh, the you were talking about one out of ten is the good kit. Wouldn't you call that one probably a retool, like the Viper and yeah. the other ones yeah. you said? One out of ten. One out of ten is a good kit, and five times out of those, one. Five times out of ten, that one is a retool from somebody else. Like it's a Mobius mm -hmm. or a Bandai kit. Well, that, that said, I've had some Revel re retools or re Revel reboxes that are appallingly bad. So well, it's like when you when you showed that when you showed that sprue spit of that of that orc bike. Sorry. When you when I saw that sprue of that orc bike that you're making, it's that was a classic example of Revel screwing it up because it's a Games Workshop mold. Of a games workshop right. kit, a games yeah. workshop do really good mouldings, and yet that one you've got is soft detail and flash on it. And I'm like, wow, well, they, they can't even get a games workshop kit right. Wait, hang on a minute. Wait, wait, wait. No way, more sharp or as nice as GW stuff. Yeah, it's like a like games workshop starter kits for this. Yeah, they're actually Revels. They're Revel kits, but they're like games workshop. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna absolutely smash this. <laughs> it's basically it's just a simple kit um some paints in the brush Ravel paints oh he says not having seen any of the games workshop stop not a kit uh, yet paul did says got to well, get work to do bye bye all thanks for coming in paul the supplied uh, brush is not bad the paints are Ravel and the pants yeah oh no there's a lot of the newer Ravel europe kits are actually quite nice believe it when i see it <laughs> Can you tell the differences in the boxes? Because I've seen there's a couple of different kinds of uh, Ravel boxes. Like, like there's the there's the one kind of that looks like the beginner kits, but then there's the boxes with the blue and almost pinstripe white light pinstriping around it. Yeah, the, the, the beginner kits always have the paints and stuff at the top. Uh, the the one thing that bugs me about Ravel, and it's a stupid little niggle, the boxes. 
Yeah, side opening boxes. I hate that. Mm. All of them open in the side. You have? Did they not understand that you take the lid off, you put it underneath, and that's where you put your sprues? It's, it's no, not about the box. It's the fact that it's the fact that they're so thin things get squashed. And yeah. you know when you live live somewhere like I do, so you order most of your kits online, and it doesn't matter how well you package a Revell box, it arrives to you squashed. There is literally you just can't do anything about it. See, that's what I mean. That's that's a different box because the last reveal I did, it, the box, the F the F fifteen, the box slid open on the top, but it was one that it favored the beginner kit where it just had like, okay, here's the image of the like art box art on the front, but then on the sides it had the done model. <clears throat> but right, the other ones are like in a. The other ones I'm talking about are like in a bluish box with I, – I wish I had a picture of one. I've got one of those Ravel kits, but they've got like two different boxes, and I didn't know if it was like Ravel of Germany or Ravel or Ravel wasn't Monogram. There Ravel, wasn't there a Ravel USA? Because weren't, weren't Ravel they the ones that – Well, no. Ravel bought Monogram. Yeah. Monogram was a U.S. kit. Because they made good yeah. kits. I've heard people say sort of Revelogram. Yeah, Monogram. Yeah, that's the B26 I'm working on, and I haven't had any problems with fit or oh, – I haven't had any problems with fit or, like, warpage or anything like that. But that's Monogram. But now Revel bought Monogram, and I don't trust the new Monogram. <laughs> but now the kits, the kits I'm getting are from a guy stashed from the – 80s and 90s. Dad comes up with a good point. He says he's done quite a few Revell kits that are great. Are we not modelers <laughs> and not just assemblers? And it's, it's, it's a good point. It's like I, I can't stand Revell because I'm more of a painter than a builder. So for me, it's like if, it, if nothing fits together, I don't want to have to do major surgery to get it to work. But he does have a good point that, you know, you shouldn't just expect everything to fit together perfectly. So if there's some mileage in. Is oh, it no, perfect. Uh, I see his point. It does have a point, but at the same time, I've I've built some kits that are so very bad that they just they just crush your soul and leave you leave you curled up on the floor weeping. And uh, I built, um, in fact, I did a build series on it, the Capri, which I built for my neighbour because my neighbour's a mad car nut. He's got two Capris among his many many other vehicles. Oh and, no! And he uh, and one of his Capris. He was talking for ages and ages about he'd like he'd like to paint it like a Kawasaki racing green, but he wasn't sure how it'd look, and he's been humming and on about it. And then I mm -hmm. uh, I was on a swap group, and, and somebody on there had an old uh, MPC or an AMT Capri, it was, um, and uh, and I said, oh yeah, you know, I'll have that. I sorted out a swap with an old kit, and I thought I'll build that for my neighbour, and I'll, I'll do it in Kawasaki racing green or so something like it. And it turned out reasonable, but the kit was awful. It was, I mean, we're talking so awful that the, the actual body pan, to get it to fit inside the body, I had to cut nearly five millimetres of styrene off the front of the body pan just to get it to fit inside the body. I mean, five millimetres, that, we're talking like a massive chunk there. I'm not talking about... Shaving a sliver off with a knife. I'm talking about getting the razor saw oh. out. Of the now I feel you. I can the feel wheels and that. Tires, The wheels and tires were actually too big for the kit. They, <laughs> they, they literally, you had to kind of squeeze it all in to get the chassis and body to meet up, and all. And the tires were hitting inside the wheel arches. They were just physically too big for the kit. It, it, oh, it was awful. It was, it was the worst car kit I've ever built. And very close to the worst kit I've ever built. Wow. Uh, Philly, yeah. says, Philly says, I think you learn more from a bad kit. Uh, he agrees with Dad. He says, I quite like the challenge of them. Me too, says Dad. Um, let's go well, on. Vamp says, no, Dad, we fix the company's screw ups. Um, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a, for me, it's a fine line. I think I, I don't expect everything to be done for me. I don't. You know, if this kit just goes together perfectly, it's fine for me. I'm not a big builder, but if I have to do a bit of remedial work, it's not so bad. I don't mind a bit of remedial work, but 
when you when you're getting kits where repeatedly nothing fits together or like the there were swing rings yeah. in the in the plane that TK showed earlier in the tornado. When I saw that, I'm like, that's not even a, I could I could design a swing wing system much better than that. It was terrible. Um and things like the U-boat that I built, the big one seventy second one, the hole was beautiful. The hole was molded fantastically. It fit together like a dream. That was fantastic. The tower on the U-boat went on perfectly. The deck fit like a dream. Everything worked. But then you had all the deck details, deck gun, the gun on the tower at the back, the periscopes and the stuff that goes in the tower. They were molded like they were molded in 1974. They were these amorphous blobs with flash and no detail. I'm like, what the hell? After giving me a hole that's actually quite beautiful, and I want to paint it, and the deck gun is just this blob of no I, I wouldn't know if that was a bit of sprue or a, and that's like that's not that's not giving me a challenge that's just shoddy workmanship yeah. I think. so See, that's a, my problem yeah there's a there's a balance i think you know I, I don't mind a bit of a challenge but i think we revel some yeah a little bit is out. one thing it's like eh, these parts don't line up it's fine i'll make it work but then it's like every time you pick up some plastic it's like <clears throat> oh, here's half an hour of fiddling Budging, sanding. If you've got to fight it. You, the pleasure goes out quickly. After. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dad says, Dad says, true vamp. But on occasion, the challenge is great, and the sense of achievement is at the finish, and that is true. If it if it needs some remedial work, then it's actually really nice to say, I, I, I beat it. I managed to fix that. And you, you expect, especially with older kits, you expect some work. But I think with modern kits, you expect some work, perhaps. But when it's things like it's an aircraft and they do race panel lines, I've never understood that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, thing, that's that's just that's just yeah, that's yeah, that's that's just that's just laziness, I think. Yeah, I, I think if you build something that you've got a real fascination or passion about, and it's an awful kit, then you're more willing to do more with it. Like mm, that, yeah. little, the little yeah. Nelly kit that I built. Um, I've always been a big, big Bond fan um, for years and years and years. And I had that little Nelly kit for a long, long time. And um, when I built the that, FX one by any chance? Yeah, it's the FX one, yeah. I had the um, same kit. I couldn't finish it. Oh Well, it's an awful <laughs> kit. The fit yeah. there needed a lot of feckling. It's really bad. But it was made in 1966 or whenever it was the, the film came out, you know. Yeah. Um, but it, I, I was really pleased with the end result because knowing what the work I had to put into it and the effort I had to put into it. So I was really pleased with how it looked. And um, with something like that, I was more prepared to put the effort in. But if it's something I'm not that invested in and it needs that amount of effort, I'm just going to go, ah, stop it, I'll yeah. throw it in the bin. Uh, we have a question. So it's a balance. We have a question from Jamie Bone, but before I say that, I'll say Underdog Painting says hello. Hey, Underdog Painting. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> uh, Jamie Bone asks, and this is maybe one for Ted, who I think has built this. I've built this in the past long time ago. Uh, Jamie Bone asks, would you say the Airfix 172nd Vulcan is a starter set? Uh, I haven't built it, but I wouldn't say it is, no. I've built, I've, I've built a Vulcan, I've Airfix Vulcan, like 30 years ago. It's massive. It's huge! Um, I don't think it's that complicated. It's, it, it, re it requires a bit of fettling to get everything to join up. Uh, not in a bad way. It is a very impressive kit. So I'd, I'd say it's not a starter set, maybe, but it's a good kit. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, somebody's off. Richard Champion is off. Night off. Uh, night all. I'm off to the bed. All right, dude. Yeah. Bring him. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be behind you, really. You guys are going to bed early over there. Oh, yeah. Time difference. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time difference I'm, yeah, I'm making dinner. <laughs> yeah, for you, it's dinner time. For us, it's 27 yeah, it's Oh, dinner. Can I, can I say, mentioning uh, Marmite on the Boomer Hut earlier, and I was we were talking about Marmite um, in one of the threads, and I had some, um, some uh, liver and bacon uh, casserole that was left over at work that they said, oh, do you want to take that home? And I was like, well, I've not had liver for ages. Yeah, I'll have some of that, please. Uh, so I'd got some of that to warm up. I was like, ooh, liver and bacon casserole. And then all the talk of Marmite, I was like, oh. So I just threw a spoon of Marmite in it. And oh, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, now that... Amazing. I'm making 
I'm making some beef sirloin patties <gasps> with cheese, so I'm not not my taste. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't yeah. need to add more much to every. Why are you all the way over there with that delicious sounding food? That whatever you just said, I've forgotten already. <laughs> It's a uh, because it, I don't know. Do you guys have different kinds of ground beef over there? Like you got ground chuck and lean and uh, so yeah. we, we, have, we have different we have different beef. TK, you make your shelf again? No. <laughs> it's like TK's building Lego off to one side. And he's yeah. just rummaging around for that little two by three no, thing. Searching through the Lego box for the one. <laughs> like... uh, yeah, my wife is on a. Is, is always watching her what she eats diet wise so i don't get ground chuck you know the 80 do you understand what i say when i say uh 80 10 for nope. beef no no uh, to me it's to me fat. that sounds like engine oil oh no it's the amount of fat and how lean the meat is like oh, we just over say, here oh, okay we just say beef please and they say yeah, we, we've just got lean we've got lean beef or or not lean beef <laughs> Okay, well, that's the difference is because, like, lean beef is like a 90-10 ground chuck, like just your regular old ground beef. That's like 80-20 because it's 80 scratch time. Hang on. beef, Go 20. Ahead, yeah. And then, well, this is ground sirloin. <laughs> this is the leanest. Yeah, and they're over here. If you go to, you go to Brooklyn and say, hello, I'd like some beef. And they say, what kind of beef? And I say, from a cow. And they say, here's a large amount of meat. And I say, thank you. Uh, you, you should try saying, can I have some 90-10, please? And see what they say. Yeah, yeah <laughs> or no. And then if you want the best stuff, if you want the really good stuff, get ground sirloin. Mm -hmm. And that's just basically like they would make it into cuts of steak, but instead they grind it up for particular people like my wife and me. <laughs> If I, I like them. I went to a local Tesco and asked them for some 9010. The opticians is over there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> in England. Uh, not, yeah, it'll either be that or it'd be like, oh, WD 40. Yeah, aisle five, mate. Yeah, no, no, no. If, we, we have that too. If you to a butcher's shop in the UK and ask them to grind sirloin steak into, into mince, they'd, they'd probably. Like chase you out of the shop with a meat cleaver. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's if, that's if you're lucky enough to actually find a butcher's shop here anymore. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they are. There's really, rare there's here, really not many of them. Yeah, there's really not many of them around. Got a great one down the road. They're doing amazing haggis. Absolutely amazing haggis. That mm. I have to. I have to pivot the conversation around because uh, Dad did. Um, Ask what people think, what people opinion on trumpeter kits, and the conversation has gone on for that. Um, Dad says he thinks they're superb. He's done the 116 Oshkosh, uh, and now he's doing the, the 300 foot long U552. I want to put it back to Ted. Uh, at least, to, yeah, I like the Oshkosh. That's the one I've been tempted by. So, Ted, tell Phil East why he needs to get the Oshkosh. Go all about the Oshkosh. The, the, yeah, the Oshkosh is brilliant. It's brilliant. If you haven't built large scale, before uh, uh, there's loads, it's dead easy. Four, it, falls apart, it falls together, and there's loads of um, sort of scope in it for doing any uh, lighting, uh, scratch building, adding extras. I don't know if there's actually extras out there for it, uh, whether anybody's already doing them, but uh, easy enough to make yourself. And it's brilliant. Uh, when you did yours, you, you scratch built like an entire radio unit, didn't you? Yeah, I built the radios, put the seat belts in. Um, so, uh, but that—that's just that was just a minor part of it. I've seen people sort of fully equip them with their uh, weapons and sort of yeah. storage and everything. I was—I was, I was going to put a lot of storage in it myself, but then I just really sort of ran out of time and wanted to move on to the next model. So that's what yeah. you got—you got attack of the shinies, didn't you? You saw a shiny thing. I'm like, oh, he's going to build that now. I need to, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. finished. Finished now. I'm not doing any more. I want to build a shiny kit. Yeah, Dad. Dad says because I said tell tell Phil why you should get one. Dad says because it's Brill Phil. Get the lighting kit too from Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, Is Trumpeter a British firm or Trumpeter are Chinese? Are they Chinese? Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. There's actually, quite a lot of model companies coming out of China lately. Well, I've never heard. Five, I mean, five six lately. years, five seven years or so. A Trump Trump's a hobby boss. Yeah, hobby boss. Hobby boss. Don't don't they make okay kids though? 
Yeah, yeah, trumpeter makes like a trumpeter make excellent. I did my when I did the one thirty fifth striker. That was a trumpeter. Trumpeter were one of the companies that for because I've heard this before for a long time. Um, when it came to like armor and tanks and you know AFEs and stuff, the go to standard for a long time was Tamiya. Uh, and then companies like Trumpeter started coming along, and they started doing like Tamiya quality kits that also just happened to include a whole metric flock ton of photo etch by default ah um like and pro that, modeler. well that's why that's why kind of to me it fell off the top spot for a while because for a long time to me we're offering their kits of the, you know to me excellent excellent detail fantastic build you couldn't beat them but people like trumpeter and dragon were saying yeah we've got there's just a good kits but they've got more parts and they've got photo etch and to me it took a long time to catch up to that they're only just kind of doing it now so they kind of dropped the ball on that and companies like Trumpeter came in and Trumpeter are known for having like eight trillion parts for a single wheel hub. They kind of take the mickey they've kind of taken the mickey a bit and it's brilliant because there's trillions of parts. Yeah, with a lot of trumpeter kits, the the include as Fox says, they include a lot of parts and then you build everything and you put all these parts in and then it tells you to put the lid on. <laughs> Seal it up forever. So you don't see everything you've done. But the one thing that Trumpeter can't do anywhere near anywhere near Tamiya levels is figures. Yeah. And if you look at the U-boat figures that Ted's got, but they've got a great paint job, I've got to tell you. Um, but if you look at the figures that Ted's had to paint for his U-boat, they're not actually human. <laughs> the, only thing, the only thing I can compare them to is if anybody's built the old AMT Ertl snow speeder that's like this big from the 80s that has what would... But rather unpleasantly, and I apologise for saying this, to be described as the thalidomide pilots. <laughs> they were like, they were not human shaped. Mm. <laughs> like the, arms, the arms went to below the knees, but the knees were like 13 feet from the body, but they were also the torso. Of that. They were just, I apologise again, but it's just, that's what they were known as. That's kind of where trumpets are. They're not, they're not quite good at doing figures yet. And there's, there's one up there. That, that's uh, the guy from... Uh, I think he's one of the golden crew on the on the deck. But you'll find there's uh, – try to keep it in shot. <laughs> it's difficult when everything happens. But there's three others of him on the boat doing different jobs. Uh, they, they haven't uh, – it looks like they've taken the one moulding and just differed every – you know, just he – look, He looks a little crow magnon well, the, the best way I can describe them, and if you've played the game, you'll know. If you've played Wolfenstein, <laughs> I know where you know. It came out, what, four or five years ago? I know where yeah, you're going. Um, I think it's called Franz or Hans. I can't remember what it's called. It might be called Hans. <laughs> Franz. Franz. Yeah, if you know the character Franz, that's what they all look like. So, um, yes. <clears throat> Oh, because I remember growing up over here, all we had was Ravel and Monogreen. I mean, in the stores. Like, I would walk through stores and there'd be shelves and shelves and shelves of Ravel, but you didn't have any other options. It was Monogram or Ravel at most of the hobby shops we had. I mean, even here in, in the UK, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, your choices were FX or Ravel. Or, or AMT and Monogram. We got AMT and Monogram as well. So. Oh, we, we had matchbox as well, Fox. Do what? We had matchbox as well. Yeah, I don't really. The stores I used to go to, the I think that was after matchbox were really a thing because they didn't really sell cars. More stores than me. No, my local my local shops were. Um, it was uh, it was Airfix and Matchbox. Oh well. Um, and then if you went to a Match proper modelling shop, you went okay, to Beats in town. Are you talking about the little yeah. cars? No, no, they used to be. No, no. As well. It was the same company, I believe, but yeah. they did plastic model kits. You've, you've reminded me. Uh, you're right. Lots yes. of which were already boxed years later. Yeah, huh. like 124 shops and things, news agents that sold <laughs> matchbox model kits. You couldn't get them at the like. Oddly enough, we had a Beaties round here as well, but yes. So that's and I had to get off topic, but did Chris disappear? Um, are you with us, Chris? I'm still here, yep. Yeah, oh, okay. Just, I haven't seen it's anything cool. move around down there for a little bit. No, well, it's because my hands are over here, but he's I think watching. I can go over there and wave <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and you were awful quiet. It was like, oh, well. <laughs> Maybe you just walked off. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Matchbox? Were they good kits? Uh, no. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> no. Or they were literally you buy them from your local news agent or your local you know uh, toffee shop. You wouldn't get from. They were, they were pocket money kits, like yeah. the Airfix starter kit. And what thing. scale were they? Uh, tiny. I, I don't remember. Oh, so they were twenty-four. I remember yeah, the cars, but not the kits. They were literally like a, a pound. Oh, like a matchbox <laughs> car, <laughs> like yeah, fifty p or something like that. They were like. They, you didn't actually get them in proper model shops. They would like spin says just in corner shops and coffee in. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd kind of blank them out because I never used to buy models from the news agents. What about Linden? Lindenburg? Uh, no, we didn't get that over here. Because they still they got were, them over. I think they weren't very exclusively American, were they not? <laughs> I don't know, but they're not very good kids. Are, are they, they the ones one... that make the feet in that? What's, is that Linden? They make the. Uh, uh, Bird, they make the it? Avril 1911. I know they make some older. <coughs> they make real random stuff. Yeah. <sighs> Who's the one that makes the tooth and the the uh, the foot? Oh, that's some American company. Is that, yeah, that, Linden Medical or something. Linden. Yeah, they're not. I don't like the flash and everything that was on them either. But that's all I've ever seen over here because I get all mine online. I mean, uh, just to interrupt for a second, folks. Uh, just because I noticed there's nine of us before I start rotating people oh. around out the airlock. Um, if anybody's wanting to get in, because you can't get in now, because there's nine of us. If anybody right. wants to join the stream, can you just put in chat that you're waiting to join, and I'll I'll I'll, but I'll, I'll be calling it a night anyway. I've, I've finished building. I'm uh, only watching, so uh, I, can, I can watch from the sidelines. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, I've got a Chris. I've got a head eye as well. Okay, I mean we'll probably end soon, but I thought I'll just yeah. Keep, wait. So, sorry, speed. What was that? Just before you vanish, um, just have a quick look at this. Oh, this is your one that you built, yeah. That's the. Um, is that bigger? No, no. It's it's just because I'm older. It's big. Oh, right. It's because it's close. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> this car is very far away. Um, that's the one off the end of three. But that I am going to. It's it was a real struggle, and full disclosure, I I had to re-glue the the torch, <laughs> the arm with the book, and the sword because I broke them off getting the supports off. No. Uh, but I'm going to try printing it on the resin printer and see what it looks like. On yeah, one. Track, track some pictures in the in the chat as well, so we can see. Yeah, I will. Probably. Yeah. Better photos, hey, guys. Tell you what we're going to do, because um, I've just actually realised it's like twenty past eleven. <laughs> oh wow, going? that light. Um, what I'll probably do, we'll probably actually call it quick because I think Chris is, Chris is ready to leave. Uh, TK and Ted are, are sort of getting tired for the night now. So <clears throat> what we'll do, rather than keep it going a second around, we'll, we'll call it quits for here. Uh, Chris has obviously done uh, five minutes of painting and I finished. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, calling time finished anyway, so I'm not getting much better than that. He gave it a dunk. I'll quickly go through and see how everybody's doing with theirs. Um, Jay, you've not bought yours yet. Pascal, <laughs> how are yours? Burgers already. Ah, uh, sticky up. Finishing it. Dinner time. Look at that. <laughs> Bill Burger rules. death. <laughs> Cool. It's cheesy too. <coughs> oh wow! Complete. It's very easy build. Just if you get the correct paints. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh god damn it, Tom! I might have to go and put a rustlers in the microwave now. Burgers. Oh. Oh, I, I know, right? I, I, I burgers it. almost. It, the, the problem, the problem easy. with rustlers, it's like the, the see. Here's the thing, like. A load of people say to me, oh, don't don't go to McDonald's. Like, over in America, McDonald's is probably a hell of a lot better. Over here, <laughs> don't even bother. Oh, no, I, um, I, 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 I will not touch McDonald's with a barge pole. Um, and my girlfriend had a really unhealthy McDonald's addiction. And then I said, you know what? You need a Rustlers. Just, just have a Rustlers. You will never go to McDonald's ever again, I promise you. So she did. And uh, and then the next the yeah. next day she sent me a text message saying, "God damn you! These are like gateway drugs in burger form because <laughs> <laughs> they, really, they really they really are. So Everybody tries the cheeseburger first, and then it's yeah. like, I wonder what the chicken and pesto subs like, and then it's a slippery That's slope nice. from there. Wow. It really is. Yeah. Huh? Well, that's the good thing about where I live. We're so small. I don't have a lot of chains. It's all 
family owned kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Well, so, that I mean, said, when, I, when I was in uh, when I was in California, uh, when I was visiting friends over there, we went to the <coughs> Sonic, and uh, and they were good. Uh, we don't have Sonic in the UK. We've only just oh, got Sonic guys in a few places. Right, but, yeah. Sonic, guys. Yeah, they were good. So we were looking at Bell's bill, so. We're going to we're going to put an end tonight's stream. We're all off for a burger. Yeah, we're going to enjoy. Yeah, I'm sure if anybody out there wants to start up another stream, they can put a link in the uh, the big yeah. hot and continue. The <laughs> I can see the burger talk. Is she well, going to the girls got food stream? So yeah, yeah, me and the girls got to eat. So our, our lovely, lovely guests out of the airlock. Uh, first of yeah. all. Then we'll do a little wrap up. So I'm just going to say, uh, I'll throw I'm you out. out. There you go. I'm, I'm <laughs> out. Thanks all. No, guys. Jay, thank you for coming in. You're much more than welcome to visit us. We expect to see you next week with a, a starter kit. I, I definitely will sort that out. Awesome. See you next week. <laughs> see you, Fox. Uh, we have, uh, I don't know if this eject does anything bad. Uh, Pascal, I shall save you pressing any buttons. We'll just, we'll throw you out one by one. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us, Pascal. That ship's coming on. I think you're doing the best yeah. of us, to be honest. I'll post pictures later. Yeah, and we'll maybe see you next week. Or if you you think you'll still be doing the same one or a new one? Uh, no, I think I will finish it tomorrow. <laughs> no worries. Well, if you want to start a new one, you can join us again next week if you want. But thank okay. you for joining us. <laughs> see ya. Take yourself. And bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, oh, everybody's gone. Okay, it's just us. Yeah. So yes, everybody. Thank you. I, I have to. I thought I'd just get to pare it down to get all the, so we can just do a wrap up because we'll be here all night otherwise. <laughs> oh, Nate Bliss is in chat. He just says hello. Did I miss anything? Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right at the end. Sorry, Lynn and Nate. You timed it really badly. We're just wrapping up. Um, thank you to the guys that did join us. Uh, it sounded really rude. To, it always feels really rude to kick people out, but it's just so we can wrap up because we'll quite happily sit here for hours and hours talk about meat all night, to be honest, but we need to call it quits. Um, so that's going to do it for this evening. Uh, Chris has obviously finished. I'll have a new kit next time. Yeah, I think next time is going to be more more challenging for me. Yeah. Uh, Pepe, how have you got on with yours? How, you, how far have you got? The actual build is now finished. Next, next week, uh, we shall do some painting. Yes. Uh, so that's when the swearing really starts. Yes. <laughs> uh, TK, how's yours? Well, I've got to attach the bombs after I paint them green without green paint. So, <laughs> and then it's this bit of paint with this brush for this plane, <laughs> <laughs> and then decal. So, just very quickly, mm, Lynn says to you, okay, that doesn't look like a starter kit. It, well, it was. <laughs> It was, yeah. with the paints, but um, it's just a big starter kit. It's uh, it's too big for to be a starter kit, really. Yeah, I, I should have gone for a hold on, something uh, along this size of this. Yeah, it would have <laughs> been a little bit easier. Yeah, that just that'd just be cheaper now because you'd be like, right, I'm going to start now, and I've finished. <laughs> um, Stuart Heslop does say when is next time. Uh, well, what we'll do is because of course we're not we're not finished yet we're gonna this is gonna run for like three or four weeks maybe in total it's just a fun for a few weeks uh we'll probably do it until ted finishes or till everybody who's doing like tk's finished his ted's finished his chris will just have to keep buying starter kits each week <laughs> you just it's what happens when you're doing quickly dude um but yeah why is the camera constantly changing i'm not pressing anything there we go. I'll lock it on me. There we go. So yes, we'll keep going until both TK and Ted have finished theirs. Um, I almost love doing one. So um, but we'll we'll try and keep it every Saturday. So as far as I know, are you guys? Do you you'll be around next Saturday or? Uh, yeah. As far as I know, I'm playing next Saturday. Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Okay. Well, what we'll do? I mean, I'll post up in the boom hut anyway, uh, nearer the time. So we'll try and arrange one for next Saturday, same time, same bat channel. Uh, but until next time. It just remains for me to thank my three guests, Ted, Chris, and TK. Uh, to all the guys who've joined in tonight, remember when we do one of these next week, you guys can join in the stream like you've seen. Uh, normally we'll try and rotate people around if we get nine, but we had enough to keep going all night now. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you uh, this time next week for the same stream. Don't forget, of course, I've got my Warhammer stream tomorrow. It's not an e-model stream, it's my stream. So, uh, got my stream tomorrow, uh, which is 3 p.m. 
GMT, my Warhammer Sunday stream, and then Chris has got his at 8 p.m. tomorrow, GMT, his Warhamster Sunday. Yep. Uh, Monday, Ted, Chris, and I will be back for the E-Models live stream, the only one that they do during the week. Just saying. Uh, we've got that on Monday. Uh, and then I've got my... <coughs> I've got my little mini Ubo build, which I've now started filming. Ooh. So stay tuned for that. Well, just reminds me to say, I need to go for a great big week. So I need to go for fun. Thank you to the guys that joined in. Uh, thank you to my guests and my friends here. And we'll see you. And thank you to everybody who came in in the last five minutes in the chat. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry Lynn. Sorry, you can rewind it. Uh, <laughs> really did, yeah, please take all the time you can, Ted. Uh, but thank you to everyone watching. Until next time, I'll just say, Take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome. Go be awesome. And until next time, adios, amoebas. Bye. Good night. Bye.